Bob, it has been a celebration week, all week here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And now we finally get to play basketball. Team got here Tuesday night, and there has been something it feels like every single minute on their calendar. Players, coaches, even radio guys like us. But it's nice to know that all of that is behind us, and now we can finally concentrate on the game. It really is nice. I mean, we, we come in Tuesday evening, we get that really cool welcome reception, uh, the Purdue buses all black with the Final Four decals and Purdue logos. And, you know, ever since that welcome reception, it's just been nonstop action for this Purdue team. Uh, a lot of media obligations, of course, coming over here, over here to the stadium, doing certain different things for the starting lineups, the introduction stuff for the Jumbotron, and it's really cool stuff. But, you know, it's finally here now after all the preparation, the film sessions, you get to this point where you, you know, lace up the sneakers and you get to play against this NC State Wolfpack team that is obviously riding high in their own right. And uh, it's nice that uh, we finally are here, and I can't wait to get this game started. For our fans who do not know, Bobby Riddell's final game ever as a Boilermaker was played in this very building. Back then, you could play Sweet 16 games in football stadiums. They don't allow that anymore, but that just tells you how old Bob Riddell is. Oh, man. Still allowed that back then. Your final game ever, Bob. You lost here in this building to UConn. I'm sure you remember it. I certainly do. You know, mixed emotions from that day. Uh, you know, you were really just thrilled at that point to, you know, as a senior to win the Big Ten tournament and then win a couple games in the NCAA tournament. Uh, as far as my time as a player, we had not gotten to the Sweet 16 until that year. Uh, we had lost in the first weekend, my first or my sophomore and junior seasons. So, you know, you were just so pumped to be able to be in a Sweet 16. You're playing in a big football stadium. They had this set up a little bit different back then uh, compared to how it is now in the center of the court. They had the stadium more in, in an end zone. But you definitely just felt, you know, how big and cavernous these big football stadiums are when you're playing a basketball game compared to a football game. <laughs> but, you know, then, you know, we end up unfortunately losing to, to UConn. Uh, you know, they had a sheem to beat a really good center, ended up being the number two pick in the draft. They end up going to the Final Four. But for me personally, I was able to sub it at the end and make a three in the NCAA tournament, which is a guy you know, like myself who goes from walk-on uh, to you know playing for Purdue and getting a chance to make a basket in the NCAA tournament. That was obviously like a bucket list moment as well. So uh, you know, it was sad to see my career end here, but it's kind of you know pretty neat now, full circle as Purdue's first Final Four in 44 years as in the same arena that you know, I played my final game. So it's, it's pretty neat being back here. Well, you talked about making one basket in this building. Let us hope our Boilermakers <laughs> make a whole bunch of baskets here today. Man, what about the guy that's been making a lot of baskets, Zach Eady. What about that performance against Tennessee? 40 points, 16 rebounds last Sunday in Detroit. Just phenomenal. It's something that, you know, Purdue fans... Uh, you're not going to see probably very often ever again. As far as guys who have scored 40 points in the NCAA tournament, I think three of the last six have been Purdue Boilermakers when Carson Edwards did it twice and then Zach Eady. But for Zach to do it in the Elite Eight and propel Purdue to a victory, uh, it was just legendary type stuff. He obviously uh, is just a tremendous player. He's setting records left and right. But I felt like you know he's been on a man on a mission, this NCAA tournament, just treating every game like it's his last, which, of course, it could be. And, you know, he's just had that eye of the tiger late in that game against Tennessee. You know, been taking a beating all game long from a rotation of different Tennessee bigs. Zach makes winning plays down the stretch, whether it's, you know, jump hook with his right hand, hitting some big free throws. Or what I really liked was making that counter move to his right shoulder with the left hand, had a huge up and under move. And he was just showing off the whole repertoire. And it just gives big time credit to Coach Brandon Brantley on, on how he's developed Zach Eady. Earlier this week, Zach was named the Associated Press Player of the Year. He was also named the NABC Player of the Year earlier in the week as he continues to gobble up the Player of the Year trophies. First back-to-back -back Player of the Year as designated by the Associated Press since Ralph Sampson for Big Z. Well, North Carolina State has a pretty good low post player themselves in D.J. Burns Jr., who has been the toast of the town during this tournament run they're on. He really has. It's been uh, fun to see him kind of, you know, have this story, right? Like, he's a, a guy who was a highly touted player out of high school but ends up playing for a number of different colleges, three in total. But he's found this nice little, nice little sweet spot here at North Carolina State as the focal point on the block. They run a lot of their offense through him. And then the point guard, D.J. Horn, but his ability to facilitate, not, and not only facilitate, but also score, is what makes him such a tough cover. It's a conundrum for the opponent on what to do with them. 
Uh, even though he's not seven foot tall, his he just got so much weight to him that he's got that ability to put uh, opposing defenders in a, in a real tough spot because he can really you know, use use his body to back them down, get deep position. He's, he's got enough skill to him where he can catch these balls out on like the free throw line or even the three-point line at times and kind of just, you know, use his little dribble, back his way down, get to a position where uh, he can thrive a little bit better. And it, it's it's been fun to watch him play. Obviously, uh, Purdue's going to have their hands full on him. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be trying to throw different looks at him at all times as far as trying to keep him off balance. But Because uh, I think they'll see a diet of Zach Eady, but they'll also see a diet of Trey Kaufman, Ren, and others from maybe a double-team standpoint as well. Purdue and North Carolina State. We will tip at 6.09 Eastern. National semifinal game number one coming up. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. University Bookstore is the official textbook source for Purdue Athletics and the home of the original Purdue Pete. Cash in on three-point Thursdays with Purdue men's and women's basketball. When Purdue scores, so do you. With winning home games, you can save up to 39% on in-store purchases. Gear up for game days with the number one fun place for Purdue. University Bookstore, two locations, State Street, and across from Mackey Arena. It's University Bookstore. Keystone Cooperative is centered on delivering the farmer-owned cooperative of the future. Starting today, we're proud to be owned and operated by over 20,000 member owners. Keystone specializes in energy, home heat, agronomy, grain, animal nutrition, and swine production. And we remain centered on the valued relationships that have built and grown the cooperative for 100 years. Just like you, we're proud to back the boilers. Keystone Cooperative, centered on you. Talking on the phone is difficult if you've been exposed to loud noises over time. Combat veterans, factory workers, farmers, gun and motorcycle enthusiasts can have trouble hearing on the telephone. Relay Indiana helps return clarity to your phone conversations. Relay Indiana also provides free loaned equipment to those who qualify. Get the CapTel Caption Telephone from Relay Indiana. Visit RelayIndiana.com now. Now's the time for a new Honda. Save thousands with 2.9% financing on a 2024 CRV. Full Honda inventory is here. Cars, SUVs, trucks, vans are all in stock. There's never been a better time to buy a new Honda. Save big with low payments or get your new Honda with 2.9% financing. Search your local Honda dealer today. See dealer financing details for all qualified buyers offer in 4324. Higher yield potential starts with the season-long systemic disease protection of Zyway brand fungicides from FMC. Zyway brand fungicides protect corn crops from key foliar diseases and support physiological benefits that help develop healthier, higher yielding corn for a difference you'll appreciate at harvest. Visit your FMC retailer for an at-plant advantage. Always read and follow all label directions. The ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action. So when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more. So fans can fan. Purdue's three-pointers all season long have been brought to you by Case IH, a proud sponsor of Purdue basketball. Remember, you can't spell swish without IH. Purdue is no longer the best three-point shooting team in the country. No, no, now they're number two, number two in the country after that three-for-15 performance against Tennessee on Sunday. Purdue at 40.6 three-point shooting, second best in the nation. North Carolina State shooting 34.7% has a ball club themselves. One guy to keep an eye on for North Carolina State, Michael O'Connell. He'd made only 14 threes the entire season, but in the ACC tournament, he made nine triples in that tournament as he seemed to find his shooting stroke at just the right time. Big Ten College Basketball Report coming up next on the pregame show. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. 
I get paid to do this. How cool is this? Wow. It's like <laughs> you get paid to be a coach. And for me, I don't think there's a place out there better for me than Purdue University. Hi, I'm Kate Young, host of This is Purdue, the official podcast of Purdue University. Over the last three years, my conversations with Boilermakers have been serious, informative, and in the case of that exchange with former Purdue basketball coach Gene Cady and current head coach Matt Painter, downright fun. Be sure to follow This is Purdue on your favorite podcast app or on YouTube. We Boilermakers show our pride in a number of ways, from a Purdue flag flying high on game day to a black and gold tie worn to the office. That loyalty is built on precious memories, time-honored traditions, and lifelong friendships. It's everlasting, and it stays with you wherever you go. So whether you're at Mackey Arena, your hometown grocery store, or across the country, the pride is always there. And now with the Purdue Federal Visa Signature Card, you have one more way to show your pride. Purdue Federal, the official credit card for Purdue fans everywhere. Federally insured by NCUA. Unity Healthcare, a trusted pillar in the community for more than 25 years, offers healthcare services that you can depend on. With a team of over 80 highly skilled providers, Unity Healthcare is committed to making the best decisions for your health right here in your local community. Visit one of our many healthcare specialists or urgent care to meet your specific healthcare needs. www.unityhc.com because we believe in working together towards a healthier future. Unity Healthcare, healthier together. If your company is seeking to relocate or expand quickly, Hancock County, Indiana has a wide variety of business sites, including four shovel-ready certified silver business parks, plus higher than normal broadband capacity with an extensive fiber network with more than 2,000 miles of lines. Connecting opportunity with success. Contact the Hancock County Economic Development Council at www.hancockedc.com or at 317-477-7241. Spring is here, and this is your time to venture out and re-emerge in a new versatile Ford SUV. Go anywhere and do anything in a Ford Escape, Explorer, Edge, or Bronco Sport. All with the capability, power, and tech that will help you forge new paths. Don't hold back. It's your time to hit the road. Get out there and experience it in a new Ford SUV. Go to buyfordnow.com and then head on over to your local Ford store today. Hi, Katie Gerald's here, head women's basketball coach at Purdue University. I'm a proud graduate of our College of Liberal Arts. My degree prepared me to connect with people and communicate well on and off the court, skills I use every day. I'm excited about the Degree Plus program, which allows all Purdue students to earn a Bachelor of Science degree and one from Liberal Arts and still graduate in four years. This and one can be a game changer. Check out the College of Liberal Arts Degree Plus program to see if this and one is a winner for you. State Farm Stadium, Glendale, Arizona, just on the outskirts of Phoenix, Purdue and North Carolina State. The Wolfpack, 26-14. and 14, Lost their last four regular season games, yet now here they are in the final four. Purdue is 33-4 and four on the season. Time now to talk Big Ten basketball. You get this late into the season, there just isn't a lot to talk about, which is a nice problem to have from our vantage point because everyone else in the Big Ten is done playing. Now, that's on the men's side. On the women's side, Iowa advances to the national championship game as they beat UConn last night, 71-69. Caitlin Clark, 21 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists. Iowa makes it to the national championship game. They will be playing the number one overall seed, South Carolina, on Sunday. 37-0 are the Gamecocks. That's a 3 p.m. 3 p.m. tip-off Sunday, Iowa against South Carolina for the national title in women's basketball. Earlier today, a note for a Big Ten uh, foe, but a good one. Bo Ryan, a longtime coach of the Wisconsin Badgers, was uh, named as part of the uh, latest induction class for the Naismith Hall of Fame. You remember last summer, our own Gene Cady inducted into the Naismith Hall of Fame. Now Bo Ryan will be joining him. Bo Ryan four times the Big Ten Coach of the Year, taking Wisconsin to -to back-to-back Final Fours None probably more impressive as far as Final Four runs for, for Bo Ryan's club, I would say, Bob Riddell, than when they got to the Final Four and beat undefeated Kentucky in a semifinal game. And ironically enough, we heard from Devin Booker, who was on that University of Kentucky team earlier this week, about you know his 
disappointment and sadness looking back upon that loss against the Wisconsin Badgers. Uh, that, that Badger squad under Bo Ryan, two really good years back-to-back. -back. Uh, Kaminsky, of course, leading the way, but a bunch of other really good players. Sam Decker had a nice little stretch in the NBA, and uh, yeah, that was a talented bunch. Uh, tough one for those Purdue teams to have to go against there. Uh, Bo Ryan, just a phenomenal career, phenomenal coach, and Nice for him to uh, be recognized in this manner. I saw a nice story, uh, I believe, on social media early this morning talking about uh, Bo Ryan. He, he really came up the hard way, coaching junior high basketball to start his career, then high school basketball, then NAIA and Division Three basketball before finally breaking through at the Division One level. And, uh, man, what a great amount of success he had at Wisconsin. A couple of other notes on that latest uh, Hall of Fame class. These are not Big Ten notes, but they are Indiana-related. Gary Roosevelt's Dick Barnett, Dick the Skull Barnett, who went on to play at Tennessee State University and was a, a stalwart for the New York Knicks in his professional career. He, too, named a part of that latest induction class for the Naismith Hall of Fame in Springfield. And also Pacers owner Herb Simon, also honored as well, a part of that uh, latest group to enter the Naismith Hall of Fame. So so uh, one Big Ten connection and a couple of uh, Indiana connections there as well. Uh, we have seen, while well, we do have a minute or two, we have seen, Bob, a number of Big Ten players enter that transfer portal these last couple of days. We certainly have. It's pretty fascinating just to see all the movement that's happening, not just in the Big Ten, but throughout all of college basketball. It's just, you know, it's going to be tough to be able to project what your roster is going to be year in and year out. Uh, you know, we look at a school like Minnesota, young team, has a chance to bring back all five starters. And, you know, unfortunately for them, they're having uh, some guys hop in the portal on them, guys that played significant minutes, you know, Pharrell Payne, the starting center, kind of the, the most important of that group. As a sophomore, you're thinking, wow, he's going to maybe take the Big Ten by storm as a junior and senior, especially with some bigs like Zach Eady and Kalel Ware moving out of the conference. Uh, but, you know, he's in the portal, and it's just tough. It's, uh, it's an interesting thing. You're seeing other teams having to probably drop some serious NIL money to retain <laughs> some of their players. And uh, it's just a fascinating thing that we're seeing in the conference, and it's going to be you know, new faces year in and year out on these teams. Purdue, of course, uh, they went to the portal in the offseason, found a guy named Lance Jones, and uh, he has worked out uh, quite swimmingly for our Boilermakers. It was interesting talking uh, to, to assistant coach Paul Lusk uh, a couple of days ago. He was talking about this time last year, uh, he was on the phone with Lance Jones trying like heck to convince him to give Purdue a, a look. <laughs> and... Uh, I don't think it took a lot of convincing if you talk to Lance Jones. Uh, he was just happy for the opportunity, but uh, we do know this. Uh, we're sure sure happy that Lance Jones found his way to uh, West Lafayette to play uh, as a transfer. He was, of course, a grad transfer. A little different there being a grad transfer, but we're just happy he's with us. Uh, we will take a short break. When we come back on the other side, it's time to get our scouting report segment. Brought to you by Purdue Global. It's uh, assistant coach P.J. Thompson. Can't wait to hear his conversation with Bobby Riddell. P.J., of course, a former player under Coach Painter and now the team's offensive coordinator. We'll talk with him next. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Lafayette Limo, family-owned, women-owned, serving Greater Lafayette for over 33 years. Shuttles to and from Indianapolis and O'Hare Airports, 365 days a year. Make your reservations now at LafayetteLimo.com. Charters of all sizes anywhere in the continental USA. Lafayette Limo, proud sponsor of Purdue Athletics. Just sit back and let us drive. There's no need to compromise your ride to relaxation. Lafayette Limo. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Hey, Purdue fans, say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion and say goodbye to traditional crop nutrition. We've simplified product selection to create a personalized gallon that's crafted for your specific crop, problem areas, budget, and more. It enhances your farm's profitability, 30-plus years of crop nutrition data, and industry leadership. 
Build your most powerful gallon in ag with BW Fusion today at mpga.ag. Let's get back to the action. Boiler up. You want it? We got it. University Bookstore has you covered on all Purdue Athletic Sports Apparel. Shop online at PurdueU.com. Anything and everything you need. Or visit us at our main location across from the Union and our stadium store across from Mackey Arena. You want it? We got it. Only at University Bookstore. The official textbook source for Purdue Athletics. Water damage from a busted pipe can be a real nightmare in these frigid temps. For over 40 years, Hayes & Sons has been restoring water damage in Indiana homes and businesses. They'll help you navigate your insurance claim and get your life back on track. So, when a water disaster strikes, tell your insurance agent you want Hayes & Sons for your restoration work. Visit HayesAndSons.com for more information. Domino's Mix and Match menu has items for every occasion. Flaked on your friend's open mic night? Flaky bread twists and molten lava cake should do the trick. Soccer team duty? Medium two-topping pizzas and stuffed cheesy bread are your best defense. Is it your dog's half birthday? <laughs> Celebrate his biggish day with savory sandwiches and tender specialty chicken. Mix and match two or more items for $6.99 each at Domino's. Ask for this offer two item minimum prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary. Bone and wings, bread bowl, pasta, and pan pizza will cost extra. Local stores have delivery fees and can charge extra for some menu items. And we are back here on the pregame show where today Purdue, the number one seed in the Midwest Regional, will be taking on the 11 seed North Carolina State Wolfpack from the South Region in the Final Four from Glendale, Arizona. Time now for our scouting report segment presented by Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Joined now by assistant coach PJ Thompson. And coach, well, it had been 44 years dating back to 1980 since Purdue had made a Final Four. How does it feel for you to be a part of the coaching staff that helped Purdue break through and get to this point? Oh, it feels unbelievable, you know, just from me being connected in some sort of fashion with the Purdue program since I was, you know, 14 or 15 years old going through recruiting and then just working your way up, you know, uh, coming to Purdue on a scholarship, you know, the success we had as a player and, and then, you know, going overseas and staying up till three or four or five in the morning and watching that Elite Eight run was unbelievable. You know, I'm, I'm, my neighbors probably weren't the biggest fans of me at that time, but um, my roommate and I, Jordan Matthews, like he, he was able to go to the national championship game and he was talking to me about like, you know, how much it meant. You know, he went to, he played at Gonzaga um, and he was my roommate um, in Europe. And he just he, he gave me all the insight and to watch Purdue make that run and it was heartbreaking at the end. And so now, you know, to join the staff and be on the staff these years and to finally see Coach Payne break through and do it, like the love and support that we've seen across the country um, and from within the uh, Purdue program has been nothing short of amazing. Well, as a 14-year-old, I was fortunate enough to go to the Rose Bowl in 2000 when, when Drew Brees and those guys got there. Uh, it was an amazing experience. The Purdue fans showed out in full force. It kind of feels like we have a similar setup here today uh, with Purdue fans just flocking to, to Phoenix and Glendale to, to support Purdue. What does that mean to you just to have the support of the Purdue fan base here? Uh, th this has been the most um, amazing experience, you know, of my life up to date, and I've I've lived a very blessed and fortunate life. You know, I've been traveling um, around the country since I was in second and third grade. You know, competing at the highest levels of um, AAU basketball to to high school basketball and, now, and then college basketball, um, and to to see the we we we've traveled to. I, I've been fortunate enough to go to so many different countries. Um, and play basketball, and that's been through Purdue, you know, China, Taipei. You know, I can, I can, li I, the list goes on and on. And and to see the support we've gotten, you know, for for making the Final Four, it, it's been the the coolest thing that I've experienced in my life. And um, we're just so happy for Coach Painter. Like the the first em emotion was, you know, tears. You know, after the game, you know, doing the interview with you and with you and Rob, it was it was just so hard to kind of hold it back, just yeah. because like. Everyone feels that way about him. It's not a player that's going to have bad things to say about Coach Painter. Like, he might not have played you 30 or 40 minutes, but you know you played for a good dude. And, like, that means more. Like, it's a lot of kids 
like that are getting used you know like what can you do for me can you come average 14 points and help me win half my league games and hopefully make the tournament like it's not like that at Purdue like we have a true family atmosphere and I, and I think you can see it from our our shoot around yesterday I think you'll see it um, you know at the game today it's been nothing short of spectacular and I'm, I'm really blessed and um, fortunate to be a part of this family all right, well, I want to ask you about uh, where we're playing today. We're playing in the State Farm Stadium, uh, ironically enough, where I played my final game uh, dating back in 2009 when we faced off against UConn in the Sweet 16. But uh, now it's come full circle. We're back here, and two-part question for you. It's obviously one of those big football stadiums um, where the Arizona Cardinals and the NFL play. So firstly, have you ever played in a football stadium as a player? And secondly, what do you just think about the different dynamic of playing in a you know stadium like this compared to maybe a traditional basketball venue? Yeah, you know, just being a fan of college basketball, like you, you always hear the stories about how different it is, right? But like, I've never played in something like that. Like we played in Lucas Oil, um, you know, some years ago, but it was like multiple courts and it wasn't really like that many fans there. It was a totally, totally, totally different experience. Um, so I wouldn't even say that that's comparable. I've always been a fan of college and watched the Final Four since I was a kid. And you hear the stories about the poor shooting and the, whether it's the ball, whether it's the stadium, wherever it may be. But then like when I got on the court and like took a couple of shots and I'm watching our guys shoot and you see the backdrop, like the backdrop has a huge screen, like... I think it may be more emotions and the, the, the magnitude of the game than, like, necessarily, like, the stadium. Like, that's just my personal opinion. I've never played in something like that. But I, I, I would imagine the magnitude of the game and, you know, how much it means to the kids, man, like, that has to play a part in some poor shooting performances. Like, sometimes you can, you know, uh, you can just, you can kind of, get too emotional and you can and it takes a while to settle in and that's been something we tried to talk to our guys about just like do everything you did to get here you know be the more connected disciplined and detailed team good things should happen but our guys shot really well yesterday and i think if we can generate good shots i think good shooters make shots regardless of the circumstances or ball i think we proved that theory with our us making shots this year everyone talked about our different percentages with the basketball uh different basketballs last year right you heard that a lot um and i think we proved that we've made shots with all different type of balls this year <laughs> no doubt all right let's get to the wolf pack here uh, north carolina state the 11 seed in the south a uh, heck of a run, obviously, for this team. They win five straight games in the ACC tournament uh, to make the NCAA tournament get that automatic bid. Would not have made the tournament, of course, if they don't win that ACC tournament. And then they win four straight here to get to the Final Four, knocking off their conference rival Duke in the Elite Eight. You know, now that you've had a chance to dive into them, what was your kind of first impression of, of the Wolfpack? Man, I was just really impressed by, like, even the stuff you see from not watching, like, the stuff on social media, like, how they play their music. Like, they, they seem like they really like each other, and they're talented. Like, you know, everyone has a different style. You know, that's not our style before. We're, we're more quiet. We're more to ourselves. We might be watching the scouting reports. Others like to listen to music. I don't think it's any um, thing wrong with how you approach the game. I think it's different for everyone. But the, the thing I've noticed most is just how connected those guys are, man. When you have a run like this, it's not by accident um they played in what nine elimination games yeah. right when you played in nine elim in elimination games and you've won games you weren't supposed to win just based on like you know time and score and what's what occurred during the game like it's a you, you got to pay attention to that like everyone gets to this point in the season you know for a reason um, and we understand that. I, I think with us, it's understanding personnel. Like, it's understanding, like, what they do really, really well and trying to, like, just do our game plan. We've been like that all year. Like, we all, I've always said as a player, I never went into a game at Purdue and didn't feel like I was, didn't feel like I was prepared. Right. Like I, I didn't have that feeling once. Like, man, I don't really know what we're trying to do. Like, I don't I'm confused on Coach Payne Scout or I don't know what these assistants are talking about. I never felt like that one time. And I've always been prepared to play. And I think these guys feel the same. I think it's just about us getting over the emotional hump, the crowd like I talked to the, to the guys about today, like basketball is it's going to be up and down. It's going to be a swing. It's going to be multiple swings throughout a game. You guys proved it in Tennessee when things happen, come together and you can get out of the, the rut and then play good basketball. And I think we've done it all year. I look forward to us doing it today. All right, last question. 
A lot's been made, of course, of the DJ Burns versus Zach Eady matchup. DJ Burns is, of course, the, the star center of this North Carolina State Wolfpack team. Uh, it's got a little, you know, left-handed version of Travion Williams in him. Uh, Zach Randolph, kind of a guy that uh, he's similar to as well. But, you know, they're far from just a DJ Burns-led team, right? They got a number of other players that can really go. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. They're guard play. I think their guard play is not being talked about enough. They have experience. Um, they have guys, multiple guys that are capable of scoring 20-plus points. Um, they do a great job of defending, and they embrace it. You know, guys like Jaden Taylor came. You know, as an Indiana kid, I've known him for a long time. Um, you know, he came to NC State for a new opportunity, but he had to change as well. He knew that, and he did. You know, he's focused on the defensive end. He's really guarded. He's picked his spots offensively. He's capable of getting 20-something points. He's capable of affecting the game and getting eight points and being okay with it. And I think, like, that says a lot about a kid because most 18- to 22-year-olds aren't like that, and they don't understand that. Everyone wants to put the ball in a basket and put it in the basket at a high level, and if they score 16 points and do absolutely nothing wrong, uh, nothing else right, they're happy about it. But there's a sense with that group where people have sacrificed and they understand the bigger picture, and that's a scary team to face. Like I think with us, that's been our culture. It's been our culture for years. People have sacrificed. Um, people have stepped up when needed, and nobody cares about the credit. We got the two-time national player of the year, and he might be the most unselfish superstar. He is the most unselfish superstar that I've ever been around. And I think that's a testament to the leadership up top from Coach Payne, but the players as well. And um, I think it's going to be a super exciting matchup. They have guards. We have guards. Two great big men, two really good coaches with a lot to prove. So it'll be fun. All right, Coach, go get him today. Yep, thank you. B.J. Thompson joining our own Bobby Riddell. Our scouting report segment brought to you by Purdue Global. When we come back on our pregame program, Bob Riddell will be right back on the microphone again. He has a scoreboard update, although this deep into the season, I'm not exactly where he's going to come up with some scores, at least in basketball. We'll see. We'll see what he does here in a moment. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. We Boilermakers show our pride in a number of ways, from a Purdue flag flying high on game day to a black and gold tie worn to the office. That loyalty is built on precious memories, time-honored traditions, and lifelong friendships. It's everlasting, and it stays with you wherever you go. So whether you're at Mackey Arena, your hometown grocery store, or across the country, the pride is always there. And now with the Purdue Federal Visa Signature Card, you have one more way to show your pride. Purdue Federal, the official credit card for Purdue fans everywhere. Federally insured by NCUA. If you're a Boilermakers fan, you know that scoring big is everything. Few things feel as good as watching your team pass, shoot, and dribble their way to victory. Off the court, you can experience that same feeling with a Magnum tractor from Case IH. Magnum tractors match the power, speed, and strength of the best Boilermakers by helping you net every challenge that comes your way. Score big with a Magnum tractor this season by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Boilermakers to learn more. Boiler up! U.S. Foods and the Purdue Boilermakers. What a recipe for success. Like Purdue, we both stand for quality and value. From our state-of-the-art Indianapolis-based distribution center, we at U.S. Foods are committed to meeting our customers' needs by providing all your quality food service and equipment products throughout all of Indiana and Northern Kentucky. It's what we do to bring guests into your business every day that makes the difference. Enjoy the game and remember, U.S. Foods, the official food service supplier of Purdue Athletics. This is Mason Gillis, Purdue men's basketball. For my friends at the Haldeman Companies, proud supporters of Purdue University. They use the same principles for success that Coach Painter teaches us. The importance of teamwork, execution, and tremendous effort are keys to success. Their team includes farm managers, appraisers, and real estate brokers with the experience, knowledge, and professionalism to help you accomplish your farm goals. Since 1930, if it has anything to do with the business of farming, Haldeman can help. Visit Haldeman.com to learn more. Now's the time for a new Honda. Save thousands with 2.9% financing on a 2024 CRV. Full Honda inventory is here. Cars, SUVs, trucks, vans are all in stock. There's never been a better time to buy a new Honda. Save big with low payments or get your new Honda with 2.9% financing. Search your local Honda dealer today. See dealer financing details for qualified buyers offer in 2024. Geeks, the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace! 
Nice. Seagate got him a great deal on seats right near the action. So when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Welcome back here to a Final Four pregame show. The Purdue Boilermakers, the one seed from the Midwest Regional, is going to be taking on the North Carolina State Wolfpack, the 11 seed from the South Regional. Game will tip off at 6.09 Eastern time. And it's time now for our out-of-town scores segment. And let's first take a look at how these four teams that made the men's Final Four have gotten here in the Elite Eight. Last Saturday, March 30th, the four-seed Alabama Crimson Tide in the West Region took down the six-seed Clemson Tigers, 89-82. to And coming up after this game, they will take on the UConn Huskies, the one-seed from the East Region, as they defeated the three-seed Illinois last Saturday as well, 77-52. to And then on Sunday, March 31st, our Purdue Boilermakers came home with a huge Elite Eight victory, 72 to 66 over the second seed Tennessee Volunteers in the Midwest region. And then down in the South region, the NC State Wolfpack found their way here to Glendale with a 76 to 64 win over the four seeded Duke. Moving over to the women's side of the bracket, they start kicked off their final four last night. And from the Big Ten, the one seed Iowa Hawkeyes took down the three seed UConn Huskies in a really close matchup, 71 to 69. Caitlin Clark and the Hawkeyes move on to the title game tomorrow night. And then the one seed South Carolina Gamecocks handily beat the three seed NC State, 78 to 59. So on Sunday, April 7th at three o'clock Eastern time on ABC, you have the one seed Iowa Hawkeyes taking on the one seed South Carolina Gamecocks. When we return to the pregame show, we will have Coach Painter's pregame comments presented by Purdue Federal Credit Union. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Hey, Purdue fans. Say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion and say goodbye to traditional crop nutrition. We've simplified product selection to create a personalized gallon that's crafted for your specific crop, problem areas, budget, and more. It enhances your farm's profitability, 30-plus years of crop nutrition data, and industry leadership. Build your most powerful gallon in ag with BW Fusion today at mpga.ag. Let's get back to the action. Boiler up. Franciscan Health is proud to be the official medical provider for Purdue Athletics. Does a sudden sports injury have you on the bench? We can assist. Franciscan Health sports medicine specialists have mastered a team approach to sports injuries. You'll have access to a network of orthopedic professionals, rehabilitation services, and highly advanced technologies and treatments to get you back out on the field. To learn more, visit franciscanhealth.org slash sportsmedicine. Domino's Mix and Match menu has items for every occasion. Flaked on your friend's open mic night? Flaky bread twists and molten lava cake should do the trick. Soccer team duty? Medium two-topping pizzas and stuffed cheesy bread are your best defense. Is it your dog's half birthday? Celebrate his biggest day with savory sandwiches and tender specialty chicken. Mix and match two or more items for $6.99 each at Domino's. Ask for this offer two item minimum prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary. Bone and wings, bread bowl pasta, and pan pizza will cost extra. Local source at delivery fees and can charge extra for some menu items. You work hard, and at First Farmers Bank and Trust, we work hard for you. Since 1885, we've committed to helping families, businesses, and communities thrive financially, from home to the office, to the field, to the arena. We value hard work and perseverance as much as you do. Experience banking built on heart and grit today. Learn more at ffbt.com. First Farmers is a proud sponsor of Purdue Athletics. Member FDIC, Equal Opportunity Lender. Talking on the phone is difficult if you've been exposed to loud noises over time. Combat veterans, factory workers, farmers, gun and motorcycle enthusiasts can have trouble hearing on the telephone. Relay Indiana helps return clarity to your phone conversations. Relay Indiana also provides free loaned equipment to those who qualify. Get the CapTel Caption Telephone from Relay Indiana. Visit RelayIndiana.com now. Thank you. 
Water damage from a busted pipe can be a real nightmare in these frigid temps. For over 40 years, Hayes & Sons has been restoring water damage in Indiana homes and businesses. They'll help you navigate your insurance claim and get your life back on track. So, when a water disaster strikes, tell your insurance agent you want Hayes & Sons for your restoration work. Visit HayesAndSons.com for more information. Welcome back, everyone, to State Farm Stadium, and thank you for joining us here as Purdue gets closer and closer to tipping it off here this evening against North Carolina State. Let's talk to Purdue head coach Matt Painter. His pregame comments are presented by Purdue Federal Credit Union. Purdue Federal Credit Union, proud to be the official credit union for Purdue fans. Discover the credit union difference at PurdueFed.com. Uh, coach, before we dive into North Carolina State, uh, if you would please, and I know it's not easy, in a very short amount of time on this interview, but can you put in two words just what this trip to the Final Four, the first since 1980, means to this Purdue basketball program? Oh, it's um, it's unbelievable. You know, for us, you know, you work so hard to put the pieces together and be able to give yourself a chance, and, and we've had a chance to do it. Um, you know, I don't think anybody would argue with that, but it's hard to be able to to get those four straight games to get to the final four put yourself in position and try to win two more and win a national championship I mean, obviously it's proven there's only one team in the country that's going to do it there's only four teams that can say that they did it this year and got to the final four but um, just proud of the resiliency of our guys and um, you know, like I said last year after we had such a tough loss and the year before and like we keep putting ourselves in great positions we just got to be able to finish it off and we've been able to do that this year and just proud of our guys proud of their effort but with that being said it's you know I'd rather have this question in reflection after the season's over than not like why you're playing because you want to keep that edge you know you, you didn't come here to you know just you know hey we won the final we got to the final four and that's good enough no that's not good enough you know, you, you want to be able to compete and put yourself we put yourself in a position to win a national championship. And we know if we can win this next game, we'll be in that position. And, and obviously that's the goal. Well, I think one thing that has kept your ball club on the edge this uh, tournament run has been their dominance on the glass. Plus 71 rebound margin through four games. That has been a huge key, yes? No question. And I, I think it for us, um, it, it, it starts by defensively, you know, staying out as many rotations as we can. And that's hard to do because you got to double really good players. And you can't just stay one-on-one -on -one all the time with a, with a good player. And when you get into rotations, you don't have great rebound balance. But the other thing that jumps out is our ability to take care of the basketball and our ability to take good shots. Because when we take good shots and we don't make them, we're in a good position to offensive rebound. I think that's been proven in this tournament. The effort there from our guys have been great. And we just got to continue along those lines, you know, being sharp defensively and being sharp offensively. And that's just going to help us on the glass on both ends. As we look at North Carolina State, and we this has been well documented, they, they lose their last four regular season games Yet, here they are in the Final Four because they have won nine straight tournament games. What do you see in the in the run of nine victories that they're doing so well right now? Well, they're not turning the basketball over. They're playing good defense. And then with D.J. Horn, D.J. Burns, they got a one-two punch that have been very, very consistent. They've had a couple games in there where those guys haven't been great. But for the most part, they've been great. But they also have guys that can pick up the pieces. O'Connell, Morsell, Middlebrooks. You know, Diara has really rebounded the basketball well. He's defended well. He's had a couple timely shots there. But more importantly, he's rebounded and been consistent. I look at their run here, and specifically their last six victories, holding the opposition in every one of those games to under 40% shooting. Yeah. What are they doing so well defensively? Well, you know, they're not getting beat off the bounce to start with. They're setting their defense because they're not turning the ball over, so they're limiting what you can get in transition. They're doing a good job on the glass and not allowing second-chance opportunities. And then they're just playing well together. They're, they're playing well in, in terms of knowing who's supposed to get shots, where they're supposed to get shots. But defensively, with those numbers, they're, they're, they're simply connected. They got guys that can really, really pressure the ball. Jaden Taylor comes in that can make shots, but he also can pressure the ball. O'Connell's done a solid job for them 
But DJ Horn, Morcel, those guys are elite defensive players, man. They're like defensive backs. They're into you. They're playing passing lanes. They're disruptive. And when you get that and you kind of, you know, you find that magic in a bottle, man, and, and somebody starts making shots for you, someone starts making plays for you like DJ Burns, and you're defending like that, that's how you go on a streak like they, they, they've, they've been on. Well, then let's close it with this. DJ Burns, he has been the toast of the tournament through a, a lot of different uh, a lot of different outlets. 2,000-point career scorer. It's not like this guy just burst onto the scene. This guy's been a great player since day one. Yeah, no question. You know, he's, he's different, and I think that's what gets more attention than anything. It's like Zachary. You know, they're different. There's nobody in the tournament. There's nobody in college basketball like Zach Eady. There's nobody in the tournament in college basketball like D.J. Burns. You know, he can pass it. He can shoot it. He can play one-on-one. You know, he's a facilitator at times. He's just a straight-up scorer at times. When he's mixing it, that's when he's the most dangerous. When you don't know whether he's going to spin and make a play, shoot his jump hook, shoot his baby jumper, pass the basketball, back cut you, that's when you are you go watch all the ACC. They did a lot of different things against him. There are some things that bother him at times, but for the most part, his decision-making was pretty good throughout the year, especially at the end of the year, and he's a really, really tough cover. Coach Painter, thank you, and good luck here today. All right, thank you. Coach Painter's pregame comments presented by Purdue Federal Credit Union. Purdue Federal Credit Union, proud to be the official credit union for Purdue fans. Discover the credit union difference at PurdueFed.com. When we come back, Bobby Riddell rejoins me on the State Farm Stadium floor for the keys to the game presented by FMC. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Hi, Katie Geralds here, head women's basketball coach at Purdue University. I'm a proud graduate of our College of Liberal Arts. My degree prepared me to connect with people and communicate well on and off the court, skills I use every day. I'm excited about the Degree Plus program, which allows all Purdue students to earn a Bachelor of Science degree and one from Liberal Arts and still graduate in four years. This and one can be a game changer. Check out the College of Liberal Arts Degree Plus program to see if this and one is a winner for you. U.S. Foods and the Purdue Boilermakers. What a recipe for success. Like Purdue, we both stand for quality and value. From our state-of-the-art Indianapolis-based distribution center, we at U.S. Foods are committed to meeting our customers' needs by providing all your quality food service and equipment products throughout all of Indiana and Northern Kentucky. It's what we do to bring guests into your business every day that makes the difference. Enjoy the game and remember, U.S. Foods, the official food service supplier of Purdue Athletics. Unity Healthcare, a trusted pillar in the community for more than 25 years, offers healthcare services that you can depend on. With a team of over 80 highly skilled providers, Unity Healthcare is committed to making the best decisions for your health right here in your local community. Visit one of our many healthcare specialists or urgent care to meet your specific healthcare needs. www.unityhc.com because we believe in working together towards a healthier future. Unity Healthcare, healthier together. University Bookstore is the official textbook source for Purdue Athletics and the home of the original Purdue Pete. Cash in on three-point Thursdays with Purdue men's and women's basketball. When Purdue scores, so do you. With winning home games, you can save up to 39% on in-store purchases. Gear up for game days with the number one fun place for Purdue. University Bookstore, two locations, State Street, and across from Mackey Arena. It's University Bookstore. On the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield, Boilermaker Basketball is brought to you by Indiana Kitchen Premium Pork Products. Get to know us at indianakitchen.com. Also brought to you by Coors Light, made to chill. Proud sponsor of the Purdue Boilermakers. The tip is moments away. This is Boilermaker Basketball. It's Purdue and North Carolina State National Semi-Final Tilt. Let's get the keys to the game presented by FMC. Get season-long disease protection from the inside out with Zyway brand fungicides from FMC. Thanks, Rob. It's time for some final four keys. And the first one, it's the matchup everyone's talking about. Zach Eady versus DJ Burns. Who is, you know, between these two stars, who is going to be able to you know, make their imprint on the game the most. 
a lot of that will, deter will be who can stay out of foul trouble. Uh, we know, of course, the, the dilemma Zach Eady puts into the opposing bigs game in and game out as far as getting them in foul trouble. It was DJ Burns going to be guarding Zach Eady. Are they going to be trying to put someone else on Zach to avoid some of that foul trouble potential? That'll be something to watch early in this game. You know, from a Purdue standpoint, guarding DJ Burns, there's going to be some different looks. There's going to be Zach Eady on him at times, and there's also going to be some different matchups where maybe there's some post doubles. So that'll be fascinating to watch. You know, so there will be undoubtedly there will be some times where it's mano a mano, and that will be fun to see who's able to get the upper hand between those two players. The second key is the turnovers. It's been a key this entire tournament for Purdue, and boy, have they delivered game in and game out thus far. They had just 10 turnovers, both versus Grambling State, and then in the Elite Eight game against Tennessee, had only nine turnovers against Utah State, and the Sweet 16 win over Gonzaga. Just a phenomenal effort by Purdue, taking care of the basketball so far in this tournament, because when they, as we always talk about, if they have 14 or more turnovers, they are 6-4 and four on the year, but they've now reached 27-0 and 0 on the year when they have 13 or less. This North Carolina State team, uh, slightly above average at forcing turnovers. Uh, they, they force slightly over 12 turnovers per game. It's 141st in the country. And then on the other hand, NC State, as far as taking care of the basketball, does a really nice job. Uh, they only had five turnovers versus Duke in their Elite Eight victory. And they're 12th in the country and just fewest turnovers overall at nine and a half per game. Of course, that's not exactly Purdue's deal. Uh, they don't force a ton of turnovers, so that will be something to watch. If Purdue is able to force a couple on NC State and get out in transition, that's going to be something that could be proven you know, huge for Purdue offensively. Third and final key, I'm looking at uh, containing DJ Horn. Just like in the last game, my third key was containing Zakai Ziegler. I felt like he was a big X factor. Purdue did a good job overall on that and probably helped Purdue win that game. Well, DJ Horn, he is a, a, an absolute bucket getter in the same fashion, and it's going to be interesting to see if they're able to do that. And <laughs> Lance Jones is going to have that primary defensive assignment when it comes to containing DJ Horn. Horn's made 102 threes on the year, just a, the third guy in NC State history to reach 100 threes made in a season. Can't let him get going early. Can't let him get those rhythm threes in transition or in the half court. Those are your keys to the game, and that is it for the pregame show. First Final Four pregame show on the Purdue Network since 1980. How about that for historical purposes? Our starting lineups presented by Hayes and Sons, along with the opening tip-off. When we return to Glendale, Arizona, State Farm Stadium, national semi-final action. 11 seed North Carolina State, the Wolfpack, 26 and 14, number one seed Purdue Boilermakers, 33 and 4 on the season. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Keystone Cooperative is centered on delivering the farmer-owned cooperative of the future. Starting today, we're proud to be owned and operated by over 20,000 member owners. Keystone specializes in energy, home heat, agronomy, grain, animal nutrition, and swine production. And we remain centered on the valued relationships that have built and grown the cooperative for 100 years. Just like you, we're proud to back the boilers. Keystone Cooperative, centered on you. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Fuck him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan.
This is your moment, your time to shine, your comeback. You're ready for the next step in your career, and you want an education employer's respect. So you're not just going back to school. You're coming back with Purdue Global. Backed by Purdue University, one of the nation's most respected public universities, Purdue Global is built for people who bring their life experience into the online classroom. Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Start your comeback today at purdueglobal.edu. On the Purdue Global Sports Network, from Learfield, Boiler Maker Basketball is brought to you by your Central Indiana Honda dealers are proud to be longtime fans and supporters of Purdue Athletics. Also brought to you by University Bookstore, the official textbook provider for Purdue Athletics and home to the original Purdue Pete, Purdue NC State. It's the Final Four and it starts now. Purdue Boilermaker Basketball is on the air. Well, they told us to expect somewhere north of 65,000 in the building today. I'd say we are well past that number. Welcome to State Farm Stadium, Glendale, Arizona. The final four. The road ends here. Before we go further, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Boilermaker Basketball from Learfield. Time now for tonight's starting lineups presented by Hayes and Sons, helping Boilermakers restore their property damaged by fire, water, mold, or storms for over 42 years. At Hayes and Sons, we do restoration right. Let's start with the North Carolina State Wolfpack out of the ACC, 26 and 14 on the season. They lost their final four regular season games of the year. They appeared to be limping into the ACC tournament. They have caught fire at the right time. They have won five straight ACC tournament games to be the ACC tournament champions, and then four more NCAA tournament games to advance here to the Final Four. Here is how they will line up. In the backcourt, D.J. Horn, 6'2", 180-pound grad student from Raleigh, North Carolina. Started his career at Illinois State where he played two seasons, then played two seasons at Arizona State, now playing at North Carolina State. He was third-team All-ACC this season. He is a 2,000-point career scorer. He had 20 against Duke in their Elite Eight game last weekend. Also in the backcourt, Michael O'Connell, 6'2", 195-pounder. He's a grad student from Minola, New York. Played three years at Stanford before transferring to North Carolina State. He had 11, point, uh, 11 rebounds, I beg your pardon, to go with six assists in that win against Duke last weekend. The forwards are Casey Morsell, 6'3", 200-pound grad student from Fort Washington, Maryland. Played two years at Virginia before transferring to North Carolina State. Purdue has actually played Casey Morsell. He was on the team as a freshman at Virginia when they came to Mackey Arena in 2019 to play the Boilermakers. That was uh, the fall of 2019. Casey Morsell averaging 11 points and 2.7 rebounds a game. Also at a forward is Mohamed Diara, 6'10", 215-pound junior from Montreal, France. Started his career at Missouri, playing one season at Missouri before transferring to North Carolina State, averaging 6.5 points, 7.8 rebounds per ball game. And the center for North Carolina State, the oft-talked-about D.J. Burns Jr., the South Region's most outstanding player. 6'9", 275-pound grad student. Started his career at Tennessee, then went to Winthrop, and now finishing up at North Carolina State. He is a 2,000-point career scorer who is averaging 13 points, 4.1 rebounds a game, shooting 53% from the floor as well, and averages nearly three assists per ball game. The head coach of the Wolfpack, Kevin Keats, in his seventh season as the head coach at North Carolina State after spending three years as a head coach at UNC Wilmington. 
Starters for the Purdue Boilermakers, who are the number one seed out of the Midwest region in 33-4 and four on the year. This is how they will go. The point guard, Braden Smith, 6'175 pound sophomore from Westfield, averaging 12.2 points, 5.8 rebounds, 7.5 uh, assists per ball game. His running mate in the backcourt, Lance Jones, 6'1", 200 pound fifth year player from Evanston, Illinois, transferring in from Southern Illinois. Lance Jones at 1,952 career points. He's averaging 11.8 points per ball game. The forwards are Fletcher Lawyer, 6'4", 180-pound sophomore from Fort Wayne's Homestead High School. Named a Big Ten Honorable Mention this year. Averaging 10.6 points, 2.1 rebounds a game. Joining him as a forward is Trey Kaufman Wren, 6'9", 230-pound redshirt sophomore from Sellersburg Silver Creek High School. What a game Trey had in the Sweet Six in the uh, I beg your pardon round of 32 matchup against Utah State when he went for 18 points, eight rebounds to help lead the Boilermakers to victory. And the big man in the middle is Zach Eady, 7'4", 300 pounds, the senior from Toronto, just this week named the NABC Player of the Year. Just yesterday named the, the, uh, the Associated Press National Player of the Year. Already been named the Sporting News Player of the Year. He's a back-to-back -back player of the year. First one since Ralph Sampson. Zach Eady averaging in the tournament, in the tournament only, Zach Eady is averaging 30 points and 16 rebounds. Head coach of the Boilermakers is Matt Painter in his 19th season as the boss of the Boilers. The former Boilermaker himself this year named the Big Ten Coach of the Year five times in his career. He's been named the Big Ten's Coach of the Year. Our officials for this one today is assigned by the NCAA, Keith Kimball, Kip Kissinger, and Mike Reed. Kimball and Kissinger we see pretty regularly throughout the Big Ten schedule. Mike Reed, not so much. North Carolina State is the designated visiting team, so they will wear red, dark uniforms, red unis with red shorts, white numerals and trim front and back with some black piping as well for the Wolfpack. Purdue is in home whites. Boilermakers with white jerseys, white shorts. They're wearing the old school, the throwbacks. We like to call them the Rick Mounts. You know, the last time Purdue played in a national championship game, 1969, Rick Mount was balling out for the Boilermakers. Purdue in those white uniforms, white shorts. It reads Purdue in black. A script Purdue across the chest. Cursive with the black numerals front and back in the old gold trim. And Bobby Riddell, if you weren't ready by now, what have you been waiting for? It's almost time to tip it up here in the Final Four. It's about to get this thing underway here in a second, and this Purdue team is, its you know, it's ready to go. They've, you know, kind of got that Final Four monkey off their back, I feel like, at this point. It's time now to go to seize, try to seize the ultimate prize, and this team's ready for the challenge, and it's going to be exciting to see this game here tonight against the Wolfpack, who are kind of the darling of this tournament. And, uh, man, Zach Eady, DJ Burns should be great theater. And I can't wait to get this thing underway. Our vantage point as we broadcast this game, we are courtside. We're directly across from Purdue's bench, but the court is elevated. So it is about chest high for us as we sit in our seats. As we look, uh, just look, you know, straight across the floor, we're basically looking at the knees of the players. That's kind of how elevated they are. It's not a great vantage point as far as being able to see everything, especially at the other end of the floor on the far side, but I ain't complaining. No, there's uh, not too much to complain about here from uh, where we're sitting here. Courtside seats at the Final Four. Our Purdue Boilermakers have got to this point. Hasn't been this way in 44 years. This crowd, this environment is second to none right now. There is there is not too many empty seats here in this facility. And uh, Purdue Boilermakers on the biggest stage. Doesn't get much better than that. They said capacity is 63,400, but they said expect more than that. Obviously, I can't count them all from here, but, man, that looks like a lot more than 63,400. This place, as you said, there are very few empty seats to be found in this building, this football stadium, this mammoth building that hosts the Arizona Cardinals during the NFL season. Yeah, I've never been to a Super Bowl, but I presume this is kind of what it feels like. High-level stuff here. Jumping center, Diara at 6'10 against the 7'4", Zach Eady. 
Matt Painter sits on a stool across the way because the team bench is actually similar to where our broadcast position and that it is lower than the playing floor itself. Similar to Minnesota for those who have watched games in the Williams Arena. The ball is tossed up. The tip is won by the Boilermakers, and we are underway at the State Farm Stadium in the Final Four. Boilermakers working right to left in their white uniforms as we open this ball game. North Carolina State opens up in man-to-man. -man. Purdue throws it inside to Edie. Here's the double team. Top of the key, Fletcher Lawyer. Swing it left side of Braden Smith. Now right back into Edie. Working on Burns. Kick it out for a three from Lance Jones. It is missed off the back of the iron. Rebounded by Trey Kaufman Wren of Purdue. Boilermakers with a reload. Purdue throws it in to Trey Kaufman Wren. He will spin on Diara, stop, shoot a right-handed hook shot, and score from the right baseline. Purdue draws first blood, leading two to nothing. Well, how about that? Purdue can't really get Zach Eady quite established deep on Burns, the first possession, but sure enough, a second chance opportunity created by Kaufman Wren, and he capitalizes in his own right with a baby hook, baseline side. Here's Burns on the right baseline, spinning and shooting a jumper, missed it, long rebound, knocked off the uh, back of the rim, and grabbed by Purdue's Braden Smith, and he is fouled in transition. Just as he was crossing the half-court stripe right to left, he got bumped by Michael O'Connell of North Carolina State. It knocked Braden to the ground, and that's the first foul of the ball game. It goes against the Wolfpack. And they're fortunate. DJ Burns is actually is the one, really. You're right. It is Burns that got called for the okay, foul. I was it, wrong. Yes. Okay, good. Because seeing the replay, we have a monitor here right in front of us, which is actually very nice. And we saw clearly that Burns picked up that foul. And I'm glad you're, you were able to you know get that identified because that's going to be a big call. Oh, I've never been more happy to be wrong <laughs> on a play-by-play -play call. Well, to make us with the ball with 15 on the shot clock. Braden Smith, top of the key lawyer, dribbles once to the right wing, throws it to Lance Jones. Now to the right block. It is caught by Edie. He'll attack Burns. He'll shoot with a left hand and score with a hook over DJ Burns. Purdue leads four to nothing. And you love getting that quick early foul on Burns because maybe that's just going to take a little way of his aggressiveness as far as defending on the block. Burns is spinning at the free throw line. A nice bounce pass to the cutter, DJ Horn. A beautiful pass to the cutting Horn coming in from the left wing. He lays it into the basket. Purdue leads four to two. Lance Jones caught ball watching there a little bit with Horn. They worry about those dribble ads because Burns can put it on the floor and guys will back cut. Inside to Edie. Oh, Burns shooting with the left hand and missing. Had his own rebound. He'll go back to the rim with the right hand. He'll miss this one as well. Lance Jones rebounds for Purdue. Three on the way. Lawyer left wing. Bullseye. Fletcher Lawyer. Oh, the Boilers. Second chance opportunities. Paying dividends once again. Lance Jones gets this kick out. One extra pass from Braden to Fletch. And he dials it in left wing. Purdue has the lead right now of 7-2. to two. Oh, Here's steal. a steal. A steal by Lance Jones. Quickly ahead to Braden Smith. Right to left over the timeline. Offensive rebounding. A big story early in this game for Purdue. 17-35 remaining here in the first half. Wildermakers 7. North Carolina State 2. Braden Smith between the leg dribble. Guarded closely by DJ Horn between the circles. Wants to use the screen from Edie on the right wing and does. All the way down the paint. Shoots the layup. No. Loose on the floor. Out of bounds. Baseline left. Last touch, North Carolina State. Another failed opportunity to get a defensive rebound by the Wolfpack. And Trey Kaufman Wren, he has just been phenomenal here using his physicality and size on the glass. Just This time just gets his right arm in there mixed up with DJ Burns. is able to knock it free. And then Burns laying on the ground on the baseline side is the last one to touch. Purdue 7, North Carolina State 2. Ben Middlebrooks subbing in the 6'10". 240-pound junior from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, replacing D.J. Burns. Purdue with the ball. Baseline right to Trey Kaufman Wren. Spinning on Diara. Shooting with the left hand, and he was fouled. That'll be an early foul on Mohamed Diara. So each of the big men for North Carolina State with an early foul, and that will send Trey Kaufman Wren to the line for Purdue with 17-13 to go in the first half. And they might actually be fortunate they got that call because Zach Eady had a chance to maybe get that offensive rebound if he doesn't hear the whistle. But nice to see Trey enforcing his will here early. First foul shot on the way for Trey Kaufman Wren. Good. That's nice to see. Trey's just a 55% foul shooter. Makes the score Purdue 8, North Carolina State 2. Trey Kaufman Wren wearing number 4 on the white uniform, shooting at the... 
free throw line to our left as we visualize it. And how about Trey Kaufman Rim? Nothing but that on both free throws. Ugh, not even touching the rim there from TKR. Nice to see, and you couldn't ask for a much better start. Nine to two lead. Purdue fans are on their feet. They enjoy a nine to two early lead by the Boilermakers. Why not? DJ Horn will rise and fire from the right elbow and miss. Rebounded Zach Eady of the Boilermakers. Gives to Braden Smith. He wants to push the tempo right to left. Here come the Boilermakers on the run. Top of the key, a catch for Trey Kaufman Wren. Throws it right back out to the high left wing where it's caught by Braden Smith. Standing near the uh, center logo. Skip pass, right wing lawyer. Fakes a three, goes a behind the back dribble. Shoots from 15 feet, misses long. Rebounded Diara of North Carolina State. Wolfpack on the run, now left to right in their red uniform. 16.30 to go in this first half. With a basketball, Casey Morsell. Left side, Diara. He bounces it inside to Middlebrooks, who faces up against Edie. Hands it off to a teammate. Baseline jumper. That is good. That's D.J. Horn. He has all four points for North Carolina State. Purdue leads 9-4. to four. Right there, Horn running off screening action. Painter, Coach Painter tells him, do not run into that screen, Lance Jones. You've got to try to avoid getting screened. Now what do we have? Uh, over and back, I think. Looked like Braden Smith was dribbling the ball near the midcourt stripe. Really good defense, on-ball defense by Michael O'Connell. In Braden, it looks like just lost track of where he was and stepped back over that 10-second restraining line, and that's a Purdue turnover. You know what's ironic about that, Rob? He's had a tendency to do that all season long, and he's always flirted with going over and back, but he's always had that uncanny ability to not. But right there, he clearly does go backwards. Here's a steal. Zach Eady ahead to Braden Smith. His layup is blocked. Blocked at the rim. Purdue keeps the possession, however. Purdue had a run-out layup, but excellent hustling defense by Morsell. Here's a deep three from Lance Jones. Who needs two when you can take three? Lance Jones with a triple. Purdue's up 12-4. to four. Timeout, North Carolina State. On the Central Indiana Honda dealer scoreboard, this is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Spring is here, and this is your time to venture out and re-emerge in a new versatile Ford SUV. Go anywhere and do anything in a Ford Escape, Explorer, Edge, or Bronco Sport. All with the capability, power, and tech that will help you forge new paths. Don't hold back. It's your time to hit the road. Get out there and experience it in a new Ford SUV. Go to buyfordnow.com and then head on over to your local Ford store today. Hey, Purdue fans, say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion and say goodbye to traditional crop nutrition. We've simplified product selection to create a personalized gallon that's crafted for your specific crop, problem areas, budget, and more. It enhances your farm's profitability, 30-plus years of crop nutrition data, and industry leadership. Build your most powerful gallon in ag with BW Fusion today at mpga.ag. Let's get back to the action. Boiler up. At Farm Credit Mid-America and Rural First, we do more than lend. We lift up our rural communities that we serve, too. From our day-to-day -day business of providing reliable credit to farmers and rural residents, to our community investment efforts and scholarships for college students, we help Indiana's rural communities find their next level. Visit FCMA.com to learn more about how we work with partners like Purdue University. Boiler up. Farm Credit Mid-America and Rural First are equal opportunity lenders. I get paid to do this. How cool is this? Wow. It's like <laughs> you get paid to be a coach. And for me, I don't think there's a place out there better for me than Purdue University. Hi, I'm Kate Young, host of This is Purdue, the official podcast of Purdue University. Over the last three years, my conversations with Boilermakers have been serious, informative, and in the case of that exchange with former Purdue basketball coach Gene Cady and current head coach Matt Painter, downright fun. Be sure to follow This is Purdue on your favorite podcast app or on YouTube. This is Zach Eady, and you're listening to Purdue Basketball. This broadcast of the NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Championship is authorized under broadcast rights granted by the NCAA through Westwood One. It is intended solely for the private non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or other use of this broadcast without the express written consent of the NCAA and Westwood One is strictly prohibited. 
Purdue has an early lead over North Carolina State, 12 to 4, or in part because Purdue has five offensive rebounds, which have led to 10 second chance points. Just an unbelievable effort by Purdue on the glass, and that was something that was definitely going to be a, a, a piece of this game, right? Purdue has a sizable rebound margin on this North Carolina State team coming into it. Purdue second in the country at it. North Carolina State just 230th. Uh, so you felt like that could play a big key. And then, of course, from the three-point line as well, Purdue second in the country percentage-wise. NC State just 141. Purdue not only getting on the glass, but also connecting from downtown a couple times. Over the timeline, Michael O'Connell for North Carolina State dribbling with his left hand as we are back to action. DJ Burns is sub back in for North Carolina State. He catches it on the elbow. That's the left elbow. Kick to O'Connell for an open three in the right corner and Michael O'Connell who only made nine or uh, 14 threes all year going into the ACC tournament knocks down a triple and another over and pack on Purdue's Braden Smith boy can you believe this twice Michael O'Connell has done such a good job guarding on the basketball that Braden Smith has had an over and back violation at midcourt we have a timeout on the floor but we will keep it here Purdue has two turnovers in the game. Michael O'Connell is doing a great job at 6'2", 195 pounds, the grad student from Minola, New York. He's doing a great job of picking up the ball. Braden Smith, the ball handler, right at midcourt and harassing him to the point where Braden's having trouble getting that ball over the timeline. And then once he does cross the timeline, he ever so slightly either steps back or loses the ball in the backcourt, and it's over and back. Good calls both times by the official. It absolutely is, and it's unfortunate. That's really the, feels like the only time North Carolina State's been able to stop Purdue this game is uh, when you've had kind of these fluky over and back calls on Braden. Hopefully, just some jitters and you know, kind of not reading the situation as far as uh, you know where he should be stopping his dribble. But like I said earlier, you know, it's it's a kind of a situation he's flirted with a lot of the year. He's got such a good handle that uh, it's never come to fruition as far as an over and back call. But he's just lost the handle a little bit, probably some nerves. Um, as far as that moment here on the big stage, but uh, you know, at least they are not the live ball variety oh, yes, turnovers <laughs> that are leading to layups and dunks on the other end. But here on this defensive possession, you know, that's that DJ Burns part they worry about. If you're allowing him vision, he can pick you apart right there. He's on about uh, 12 feet away or so. Zach Eady down in that painted area because he's guarding Middlebrooks. Not to worry about Middlebrooks as a shooter, but guess what? Middlebrooks is a, can be effective in that moment as a screener. And because Zach's so far removed from Middlebrooks there, he probably doesn't see that flare coming. Because, uh, you know, it's tough. As a, as a guy guarding a flare, a guy coming off the flare screen, your attention is to the ball. And so if a guy's coming off a weak side flare, a lot of times that's going to blindside you if you don't hear a teammate saying, flare, flare, flare coming to your left and right there Braden obviously didn't hear it you know Zach either didn't communicate it and sure enough Middlebrooks blasts Braden Smith with a flare right about the left elbow and O'Connell ends up being completely uncontested for that three. Purdue men's basketball postseason sponsored by BW Fusion say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion and goodbye to traditional crop nutrition find out how to build your most powerful gallon in ag today at mpga.ag. BW Fusion, proud presenting sponsor of Purdue men's basketball postseason. Like Purdue 12, uh, North Carolina State 7. Bob was talking about the live ball turnovers. In that game Sunday against Tennessee and Detroit, Purdue had 10 turnovers, but 20 points for Tennessee off of those 10 turnovers. Live ball turnovers led to easy buckets for Tennessee. Yes, Purdue has two turnovers early in this game, as Bob mentioned, but both have been the dead ball variety. We like those a lot better. We certainly do, and you know Purdue leading that points from turnovers category 5 nothing right now would be monumental if that category stays in Purdue's favor just because that's an area Purdue a lot of times loses. Um, so yeah, between dominating the second chance points and points from turnovers, you, you feel good about this start, but you know, unfortunately, the, you give up that three wide open O'Connell, connects, and then you get the back over and back violation, and you've given North Carolina State a little momentum here. Mason Gillis subbing in for Purdue, the 6'6 redshirt senior from Newcastle, averaging 6.6, 3.9 rebounds, 6.6 points, 3.9 rebounds a game. As we are back to action, the ball in the hands of North Carolina State in a steal. D.J. Burns tried to throw the ball across the uh, across the key area, and there was Braden Smith waiting for it to steal it. Purdue now with it. 
Purdue, top of the key, Lawyer. Lobs it inside to Edie. Edie wants to work on Burns from the right block and will. Dribble with the left hand. Stop, shoots with the left hand and hook shot and made it. He was able to trickle that ball over the front of the rim. Zach Edie has four points and Purdue leads 14 to 7. Burns doing a good job there, not allowing Zach to get to his favorable right hand, left shoulder, but Zach showing off the arsenal saying, I can go over the other shoulder as well. That's two lefty hooks for Zach. Jaden Taylor, an Indianapolis kid, into the game right now for North Carolina State. Throws it into Burns, who shoots a left-handed hook shot. It's no good. It's tipped out of bounds, baseline right, and it's last touched by Purdue's Mason Gillis. That time, Burns attacked Edie in the front of the rim and tried to shoot one up and over him. Hit the back of the iron, no good. And as Purdue's Mason Gillis was fighting for the rebound, Middlebrooks was able to get in there and knock it away. North Carolina State will keep the ball baseline right. Purdue has made the adjustment with Mason in. They're having Zach guard D.J. Burns one-on-one. Top of the key into the hands of D.J. Horn. Wants to use a screen at the top of the key and does. Now throws it left elbow caught by Burns. He'll start backing down Edie. He'll shoot with his left hand and hit it a left-handed hook shot. First scoring of the game for D.J. Burns Jr., Purdue 14, North Carolina State 9. That's a tough shot there from Burns. That's what he does, getting that left hand, but Purdue is okay with him trying to shoot over the top of Zach Eady. 13.57 to go in this first half. Would it make us throw it inside to Eady, catching on the right block against Burns. Here comes a double team and a steal. They double teamed on Zach and got a steal. A two-on-two two and tripping and falling. Michael O'Connell tripped over his own two feet and lost the ball out of bounds. And I think he may be hurt here. Unfortunately, he was kind of grabbing his hamstring. That was an unfortunate break for North Carolina State. They had a two-on-two two break going left to right, and O'Connell tripped over his own two feet and lost the ball out of bounds. Purdue will take over the possession as Purdue subs in Camden Heidi, the 6'7 redshirt freshman from Waisata, Minnesota. And he is really favoring his left hamstring. They're, they are going to bring a sub. I'm not sure if they're going to get... Yeah, they're getting Mike O'Connell here. Boy, you're right. He is really laboring as he walks to the North Carolina State bench. And you called it. He grabbed for that left hamstring. Purdue the ball here against full court pressure from Jaden Taylor from Perry Meridian High School in Indianapolis. Guarding Braden Smith from Westfield High School, north side of Indy. 13.35 to go in the first half. Braden Smith off a screen from Edie near the top of the key. Works his way down the right side of the paint. Stops. Lost the ball. Taken away by Casey Morsell of North Carolina State. On the run. They have DR. Open underneath the bucket and he missed a dunk. Braden got a piece of it. And then the ball's lost out of bounds and it's last touch by North Carolina State. Was that Braden Smith that he partially came from blocked that and dunk? partially blocked it from Wow. Behind. Unbelievable recovery making up for the turnover. On the live ball. Watch this replay here. He just gets oh, a piece. Oh, you're right. You're right. Good good eyes by you, partner. Diara thought he had an uncontested dunk, and swinging in from behind came Braden Smith. 13.07 to go. Purdue's up 14-9 to here in the first half. Wodemakers have the ball at the top of the key in the hands of Braden Smith. He's in the triple threat position. Now dribbles with the left hand. Goes to the right elbow. Throws it into Edie on Burns. He'll shoot with his right hand and score over D.J. Burns. Six points in the game for Zach Edie. Purdue leads 16-9. to Very good patience there by Braden Smith. They talked to him about using pass fakes, shot fakes. He uses a shot fake there. Gets the defender down off his feet. And then he finds Zach Edie who gets to that hook shot right hand. Driving, left elbow, Horn, rising and firing, missing the jump shot, rebounded by Purdue's Zach E.D. Four rebounds in the game for Big Z to go with six points. Purdue the possession right to left in their white unis here in State Farm Stadium. Inside to Edie. It's on the left block. Throws it out to Heidi. Catch and shoot three for Camden is short and rebounded by Jaden Taylor. Little nerves there, maybe short on that one. Yeah, he did look a little nervous, did the freshman? Hey, that's okay. It is the final four. 12-10 to go in his first half. D.J. Burns, top of the key, dribble handoff for Horn. Three on the way, it is no good. Rebounded by Camden Heidi. Horn had a good look. Perimeter left, didn't knock it down. Purdue with the ball here at the 11.58 mark. Braden Smith, two-man game, top of the key with Edie. Picks up the dribble, throws to Mason Gillis. He gives it to Lance Jones. He'll shoot a deep three. It is no good, and it is rebounded by Diara of North Carolina State. Felt like Purdue might have settled for one there. We're down to 11.40 to go in the first half. Here's D.J. Burns. Back cutting Taylor. Layup. Good. Boy, Burns is an outstanding passer. Taylor's first bucket of the game. It's Purdue 16, North Carolina State 11. He really is. He dropped that bounce pass there in a, such a tiny window to find Taylor cutting. 
Boy, the Makers with it. Right elbow stopping. Braden Smith losing it, but it was grabbed by Zach Eady, who put it into the basket. I don't know if it was a pass or just a, a lost ball that ended up into the hands of Eady, but it turns out two points for the Boilermakers. I think that was Braden. A little drop off over his shoulder. The pass there to Zach Eady. He always knows where Zach is diving to the rim. That's just that great rapport those two have together now in their second full year playing together. Purdue leads 18 to 11. Just under 11 to go in his first half in Glendale. Morcell drives to the left elbow, pivots, pivots. Now gives it for a straightaway 15-footer that's no good. Missed by D.J. Burns, rebounded by Purdue's Zach Eady. Purdue looks to the bench area. Offensive coordinator P.J. Thompson writes down the play on the dry erase board. What will Purdue do here at the 10-32 mark of the first half? They'll bounce it to Eady, top of the key. He dribbles once and gives to Braden Smith. Step back three for Braden is short, and it's rebounded by Horn. They're going to run. It's a two-on-two. Morcell, a catch-and-shoot three. Air ball. Rebounded Braden Smith. He was wide open and shot an air ball. Purdue with it. Right wing, Lance, Ta uh, Lance Jones. Throwing inside Edie. Back to Lance. Three on the way. Triple time. Oh, Lance Jones, his second triple of the ball game. And that is NC State overreacting their ball side to Zach Edie. He just doubles down off a of shooter. Lance Jones fully capable of drilling it. And Lance, you know he's got the confidence to do so. Splash. Blew up 21-11 at the 10-minute mark. Short floater is good. He was able to knock it into the basket. Was a driving DJ Burns Jr. That ball bounced around and touched. It felt like every part of the rim before it fell into the bucket. Purdue 21, North Carolina State 13, 9.35 to go first half. Left side, Lance Jones. Inside it goes to Zach Eady. Eady on Burns will spin, will shoot. He'll score again. Zach Eady, 10 points in the ball game. Purdue's up 23-13. That's a bad man right there, Big Z. He says, I've gone left a couple times. This time I'm going back to my favorite right hook, and it's money. Deep three, DJ Horn is good from the right wing. DJ Horn as good as advertised. He has seven points. Purdue 23, North Carolina State 16. It's a huge hit from DJ Horn. He's going to have to be major for them offensively to stay in it. Lance Jones, perimeter left. He'll shoot a three. That one no good. Rebounded though, Camden Heidi. Throws it back out to Braden Smith. Purdue will recycle the offense. Another offensive rebound for the Boilermakers. Here's a three. Braden Smith in and out. No good. D.J. Horn with a rebound standing underneath the bucket. That was Horn, a really quick. good look. Hey, these teams need a timeout here. You can see some tired players on this floor right now. D.R. dribbling perimeter left on the arc. Gives it up one time off the dribble to Morcell. Morcell top of the key to Burns. 8.22 to go in his first half. Hands off to Taylor. Taylor from 15 feet shoots and misses. Long rebound picked up off the floor by Morcell. Morcell will drive against Edie and he'll miss the shot. He attacks Zach Edie. Bad decision, Mr. Morcell. Big Z was waiting on him and he shot a layup from right to left that didn't even touch the rim. He tried a pump fake thinking he might get Zach off his feet, but as soon as he didn't, I feel like he had to try to find a pass there. Bad shot forced there by Morcell. Less than eight minutes to go in the first half. We played four minutes of basketball without a break. These teams are dying for a timeout to catch a rest here. Braden Smith from the left elbow. He'll fire. He'll miss it. Long rebound picked up by Diara of North Carolina State. 7.45 to go in the half. Purdue 23, North Carolina State 16. D.J. Horn guarded by Heidi. Throw onto a screen to the top of the key. Pull the trigger and miss. Rebounded Braden Smith. Braden's going to walk the ball up the floor while both teams try to catch their breath. This is wild here. These guys this are is wild. Exhausted. We need a commercial timeout, something fierce. We've had no stoppage of action here. Braden Smith, top of the key, Mason Gillis, catch and shoot three, triple time. Mason Gillis, he doesn't appear to be fatigued. Purdue's up 26-16. No, he doesn't. The senior, Mason Gillis, comes through in a big moment where both teams exhausted. 7.02 to go. Diara, a three in the corner. No good. Rebounded Gillis. Again, Matt Painter says walk it up. Coach Painter recognizes the fatigue here for both teams, quite frankly. I don't think North Carolina State is mad about the fact Purdue's walking a ball up because these two teams are worn out. Braden Smith off a high ball screen from Zach Eady, working right to left. 
Stops left elbow to Gillis. Gillis fakes a three with the R on him. Top of the key feeds Lance Jones. He throws it inside to Edie. 6.30 to go in this first half. Three on the shot clock. Zach will spin and shoot with a left hand. He was fouled, and we finally, finally have a commercial timeout. And the foul is on D.J. Burns Jr., his second. Let us catch our breath. We all deserve it inside of State Farm Stadium. 6.29 to go first half. Purdue 26, North Carolina 16, State 16 on the Central Indiana Honda Dealer scoreboard. This is Boardermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Higher yield potential starts with the season-long systemic disease protection of Zyway brand fungicides from FMC. Zyway brand fungicides protect corn crops from key foliar diseases and support physiological benefits that help develop healthier, higher yielding corn for a difference you'll appreciate at harvest. Visit your FMC retailer for an at-plant advantage. Always read and follow all label directions. Hancock County, Indiana, located just 15 minutes from downtown Indianapolis near I-70 and I-465, is open for business. Learn why we are one of the fastest growing communities in Indiana. With access to available land, infrastructure, transportation, and a regional airport, join other national brands like Amazon, Carvana, and Walmart, and discover why we are the best-kept secret in central Indiana. This message brought to you by the Hancock County Economic Development Council. Visit us at HancockEDC.com or at 317-477-7241. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Unity Healthcare, a trusted pillar in the community for more than 25 years, offers healthcare services that you can depend on. With a team of over 80 highly skilled providers, Unity Healthcare is committed to making the best decisions for your health right here in your local community. Visit one of our many healthcare specialists or urgent care to meet your specific healthcare needs. www.unityhc.com because we believe in working together towards a healthier future. Unity Healthcare, healthier together. Purdue has already made four three-point buckets in the first half. Remember, last Sunday against Tennessee, Purdue made only three three-point buckets for the entire game. Don't miss a moment of Purdue basketball during the NCAA tournament this year on our network of radio affiliates. Also, out-of-market fans can listen to the exclusive national coverage by Westwood One, plus our broadcast through the multicast option on the Varsity Network app. Download for free in your app store and catch all the action from anywhere. Purdue is leading 26-16 with Zach Eady going to the foul line. D.J. Burns, the uh, dominant center for North Carolina State, in a little bit of trouble with two fouls now. Let's see if Kevin Keats will keep him in the game or put him on the bench. He will go to the bench, it looks like here. Oh, but and look Mike, who is back into the yes. game, by the way. Michael O'Connell, who appeared to maybe have injured his hamstring earlier here in the first half. He has returned now for North Carolina State. Good news for the Wolfpack. Very good news. It's going to be interesting to see if he's able to kind of, you know, he's been working on it, it looks like, off on the side, but he obviously hasn't had to put it into, you know, full gear. So right. we'll see if uh, that leg holds up. You know, hopefully it does. You, you know, never want to see an injury on this type of stage. So hopefully he's going to be fine. Uh, but Purdue in a good spot here, up 10. Uh, DJ Burns on the bench now with two fouls. Zach Eady going to the line. Uh, was a good sign for Purdue getting Mason Gillis to hit a three. You know, he didn't make a three last game. And uh, now we got Miles Colvin, the freshman in the game, as Zach Eady makes the first free throw. Eady has 11 points, five rebounds, and now we take our media timeout, uh, timeout which is in the right position. We had to take the other media timeout because we never got an under-12 timeout. We didn't have a break in the action. That's just a long-winded way of saying another commercial break, fans. On the Central Indiana Honda Dealer scoreboard, Purdue 27, North Carolina State 16. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. 
Higher yield potential starts with the season-long systemic disease protection of Zyway brand fungicides from FMC. Zyway brand fungicides protect corn crops from key foliar diseases and support physiological benefits that help develop healthier, higher yielding corn for a difference you'll appreciate at harvest. Visit your FMC retailer for an at-plant advantage. Always read and follow all label directions. This is your moment, your time to shine, your comeback. You're ready for the next step in your career, and you want an education employer's respect. So you're not just going back to school. You're coming back with Purdue Global. Backed by Purdue University, one of the nation's most respected public universities, Purdue Global is built for people who bring their life experience into the online classroom. Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Start your comeback today at purdueglobal.edu. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're good at insurance. But not just any insurance. We're good at... Fireworks don't go in the attic. Insurance. Hole in... Window. Insurance. Fire! Even... Guy that shouldn't have a chainsaw, but has a chainsaw. Insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Franciscan Health is proud to be the official medical provider for Purdue Athletics. Does a sudden sports injury have you on the bench? We can assist. Franciscan Health sports medicine specialists have mastered a team approach to sports injuries. You'll have access to a network of orthopedic professionals, rehabilitation services, and highly advanced technologies and treatments to get you back out on the field. To learn more, visit franciscanhealth.org slash sportsmedicine. This is Coach Katie Geralds, and you're listening to Purdue Basketball. No one gets you closer to the game than Sirius XM Big Ten Radio. Tune in for news, talk, and analysis from the offseason through the regular season into the postseason. We've got Purdue covered anywhere you go. Get a free trial at SiriusXM.us slash Big Ten Radio 2023. Rob Blackman with Bobby Riddell. We're courtside with our audio engineer, Wes Scott, and we're glad you're with us. Glendale, Arizona, State Farm Stadium, Purdue 27. And with Carolina State 16, we have 6.29 to go in the first half. And Zach Eady, who just made a free throw, then had to sit through a commercial break. Now we'll go back to the line to shoot his second free throw with Purdue enjoying an 11-point lead. Bob mentioned it a second ago. Miles Colvin playing now for Purdue. 6'5 freshman from Indianapolis. Purdue playing with Colvin and Trey Kaufman-Wren, Braden Smith, Fletcher Lawyer, and Zach Eady. And Edie will have an opportunity to free throw now. Wearing number 15 on the white uniform. Just yesterday named the AP National Player of the Year. Made the second foul shot. 12 in the game for Zach. And the ball in the hands of North Carolina State's Michael O'Connell. Left to right in his red uni. Bounce pass to Breon Pass, who's on the right wing. He's new into the game. A six-foot junior from Reedsville, North Carolina. Breon Pass. Now a horn to O'Connell. Swing at left wing, DR. Covered up quickly on that left arc by TKR. Trey kaufman Rin. He'll give to Middlebrooks. Middlebrooks will attack Edie on the right block. Stop and spin. Give to pass with three on the shot clock. Pass from the baseline. Good. Breon Pass, who averages one point per game, makes a baseline jumper with a shot clock expiring. What a big-time individual move and a huge spot there for the Wolfpack. Down 12. He goes baseline on Fletcher Lawyer. Just elevates with a soft floater that catches all net. Purdue up 28-18. And now an illegal screen on Purdue. A foul away from the ball. Gives the ball back to North Carolina State. And that foul is on Zach Eady. His first. Zach Eady trying to back Middlebrooks down a little bit just to get into position where from a handoff standpoint it's favorable. And Middlebrooks definitely embellished the little shoulder contact, but it's a smart move by Middlebrooks. Gets the call. Driving and shooting a floater. Horn is good. DJ Horn turned the corner coming in from the left wing. Got to the middle of the paint and floats one in. Purdue up 28-20 over North Carolina State. Wolfpack on a modest 4-0 run here. 5-18 to play in this first half. 
Braden Smith is in the right corner, gives the Trey Kaufman run at the right elbow. He spins against Diara. His bank shot hit the side of the backboard. It's a run out for North Carolina State. Breon Pass makes another basket. A layup for Breon Pass. Four points in the game for a guy who averages one point a game on the season. A tremendous Euro step in transition there. That's where those bad misses can lead to trouble. Blue inside to Edie. Edie on Middlebrooks. Kicking a corner. Lawyer fakes the three. Dribbles in. Attacks the bucket. Floater no. Rebounded weak side. Edie who knocks it into the hole. Once the weak side defender came over to challenge Lawyer, that left no one to block out Edie on the weak side. And he has an offensive putback. Purdue leads 30 to 22. North Carolina State the ball. DJ Horn floater from 15. That one short. Rebound of Braden Smith of the Boilermakers. Braden has five rebounds, four assists, two steals, no points. Boilermakers up 30 to 22. Here's a lob for Edie's. Knocked away and stolen. Stolen by Breon Pass. What a game this guy's having. He'll shoot from the left wing, and he finally missed one. And here's a foul on the rebound against either Trey Kaufman Wren or it will be Trey Kaufman Wren. I won't even finish the sentence. Trey Kaufman Wren battling for a rebound he is called for a personal foul. North Carolina State will have the ball. Baseline right. 4.09 to go first half. Purdue 30. North Carolina State 22. O'Connell really trying to gut it out out there. You could tell still was laboring bad. They're going to come back with Jaden Taylor and take him out of the game. Jaden Taylor started his career at Butler. Now plays for the Wolfpack. NC State the ball. Left wing is his Taylor dribbling. He goes to the top of the key. Keeps coming downhill. Stops at the free throw line. Throws it out high to pass. Pass gives it up top side to Taylor now. Taylor a step back three. Let's it fly good. The Indianapolis kid, Jaden Taylor, has five points. Purdue leads 30 to 25 at the 345 mark. It's just a nice individual play there by Taylor to step back, create space on the right wing, and just rise up for a big three. What a makers with a five-point advantage here. Throwing it into Edie on middle Brooks. Left block. Dribbling, spinning, shooting a wild shot, missing. Rebounded North Carolina State. They want to run with Jaden Taylor. He'll stop and shoot a three in transition. Missed it badly. Out of bounds. Last touch by middle Brooks of North Carolina State. Timeout on the floor. 3.24 to go in the first half. The 2023-24 Purdue basketball season presented by Purdue Global. Purdue's online university for working adults. Earn a degree you're proud of an employer's respect. Start your comeback today at purdueglobal.edu on the Central Indiana Honda Dealer scoreboard. Purdue 30, North Carolina State 25. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Hey, Purdue fans. Say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion and say goodbye to traditional crop nutrition. We've simplified product selection to create a personalized gallon that's crafted for your specific crop, problem areas, budget, and more. It enhances your farm's profitability, 30-plus years of crop nutrition data, and industry leadership. Build your most powerful gallon in ag with BW Fusion today at mpga.ag. Let's get back to the action. Boiler up. U.S. Foods and the Purdue Boilermakers. What a recipe for success. Like Purdue, we both stand for quality and value. From our state-of-the-art Indianapolis-based distribution center, we at U.S. Foods are committed to meeting our customers' needs by providing all your quality food service and equipment products throughout all of Indiana and Northern Kentucky. It's what we do to bring guests into your business every day that makes the difference. Enjoy the game and remember, U.S. Foods, the official food service supplier of Purdue Athletics. If you're a Boilermakers fan, you know that scoring big is everything. Few things feel as good as watching your team pass, shoot, and dribble their way to victory. Off the court, you can experience that same feeling with a Magnum tractor from Case IH. Magnum tractors match the power, speed, and strength of the best Boilermakers by helping you net every challenge that comes your way. Score big with a Magnum tractor this season by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Boilermakers to learn more. Boiler up! At Farm Credit Mid-America and Rural First, we do more than lend. We lift up our rural communities that we serve, too. From our day-to-day -day business of providing reliable credit to farmers and rural residents, to our community investment efforts and scholarships for college students, we help Indiana's rural communities find their next level. Visit FCMA.com to learn more about how we work with partners like Purdue University. Boiler up. Farm Credit Mid-America and Rural First are equal opportunity lenders. Purdue 
30. North Carolina State 25 with 3.24 to go in the first half. Zach Eady has seven rebounds in the game. That is significant because he has just passed Minnesota's Jordan Murphy for second place all time in the history of Big Ten rebounding. Second place all time. History of Purdue, uh, not Purdue, Big Ten rebounds. Zach Eady now sits in second place. Breon pass off of the bench for North Carolina State has really provided a spark for them. He came into this game having attempted 13 threes all season. He rarely plays, but in this game he has four points on a couple of really impressive field goals. Purdue the ball as we resume action in their white uniforms right to left here. Purdue does have six first half turnovers. Purdue dominating the rebounding ledger 19 to 11. Braden Smith dribbling perimeter left just outside of the arc all the way to the top of the keys. Double teamed, keeps the dribble alive and stops. Bounces it inside to Trey Kaufman Wren. He goes and scores against DR. Patient was Trey Kaufman Wren and banked it in from the right side. A nice job by Braden Smith there. Keeping his dribble alive, navigating, getting outside that uh, high hedge there by Middlebrooks and finding that bounce pass into Kaufman Wren. Purdue up 32-25. North Carolina State the ball. Diara a three at the other end. No. Contested by Trey Kaufman Wren. Rebounded Zach Eady. Purdue the possession. We're at 2.37 to go in his first half. High right wing, a catch for TKR, trying to back down Diara again. Spinning, shooting, and this one's no good. No good. Tipped out near midcourt, grabbed by Lloyd. Purdue gets another reload offensively. Excellent hustle by Trey Kaufman-Wren to keep that play alive. 12 on a shot clock for the Boilermakers. 2.22 to go and a half. Inside to Edie on Middlebrooks. He'll spin. He'll spin. He'll have it tipped away and stolen. Stolen by, by uh, Jaden Taylor. On the double down. Jaden Taylor with a takeaway. Purdue now seven turnovers against this very feisty North Carolina State defense. The R, he lost it on the dribble left elbow, but then got it back. As the shot clock's now at 12. They throw to Morsell. Shot clock at 10. Morsell will be called charging. Fletcher Lawyer sliding in front of him as he was dribbling the ball down the right side of the painted area. That's a turnover on North Carolina State. I saw that one coming a mile away, knowing Fletcher Lawyer the way I do. He was going to make Morsell attack, and he was giving ground. If Morsell wanted to stop on a dime and take a pull-up, that would have been allowed from Fletch, but he was going to cut him off, and if he tried to drop the shoulder, Fletch was taking it. Great job, Fletcher Lawyer. Purdue leading 32-25 with 140 to go in a half. Braden Smith over that timeline, works his way to the high right wing, had it stripped away, and another takeaway. Another steal for North Carolina State. Boy, are they good on the defensive end. They can really guard that basketball. D.J. Horn from 15 feet, straight away good. D.J. Horn turns the takeaway into points. 11 in the game for D.J. Horn. Purdue leads 32-27 with 115 remaining half number one. These turnovers just really starting to mount for Purdue. Well, the makers need to do a better job taking care of that ball. Left wing lawyer throws it inside Edie. Edie on Middlebrooks. Here comes the double down. This time they foul. This time on the double down, they raked him. Foul on Middlebrooks will be his first. North Carolina State fans don't like it. The end of the game. Mason Gillis replacing Trey Kaufman Wren. Purdue will inbound baseline left. 20 on the shot clock. 102 on the game clock. Purdue leading 32-27. Purdue lobs into Edie. Left wing gives to Braden Smith. Step back three is on the way. It's no good. Long rebound. Diara for North Carolina State. We're under a minute to go in this first half. Horn quickly. Right to left. Top of the key guarded by Lance Jones. Hesitation dribble. Kick in the corner for Morsell. He dribbles baseline. Stops and pivots. Uh, pivots gives it back to Horn. Perimeter left. Mason Gillis on him. Now to Middlebrooks. Back to Horn. Step back. Baseline jumper. Good. D.J. Horn. This guy can score the ball. Purdue with uh, 25 on the shot clock. 29 on the game clock. Purdue leading 32-29. North Carolina State fans on their feet. Purdue wants a timeout, and they'll get it. Matt Painter was begging for the timeout. Finally had it called with 20 to go in the half. 20 seconds on the game clock, 15 on the shot clock. Timeout, Purdue. Watermakers leading 32-29. to You're good at being you, and Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance is good at your insurance. Find an agent to help you or get a quote today at infb.com. 
Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Well, Purdue did make a strategic mistake there just a moment ago after the horn jumper. Matt Painter wanted Purdue to really take their time getting the ball in bounds so they could use up all of the clock and get the final shot of the half. But Purdue got the ball in quickly, which had Matt Painter beside himself. I was looking right at him. Was, Meaning there's now a five-second difference between shot clock, game clock. He was certainly none too pleased there. In the second half, in the final minute on made field goals, the clock will stop. Where in the first half, the clock will continue to run. And so eventually the ref will start a five-second count. But usually he won't start it right away. And so exactly what you said. He wanted her to let that ball bounce a couple more times, then gather it. And by then, it usually would have by then another three, four seconds come off the clock. And you've pretty much taken you know, the chance to get that final shot. But uh, it's a big possession here, man. NC State going to carry a lot of momentum in the halftime if Purdue doesn't get a bucket. Sideline inbound for Purdue to our left here. Ball is in play in the front court to Smith. Guarded by Taylor. Dive of the key, Gillis. He lobs in for Edie. Catches. Kick it out to Lawyer. A three is on the way. Triple time. Fletcher Lawyer. Five seconds on a shot clock. North Carolina State will have to hurry. Three, now two, and a tie foul. A foul taken by Braden Smith. What a Smart play with 1.9. Purdue had fouls to give, and Braden Smith alertly fouled the ball handler at midcourt to force North Carolina State to throw the ball in from midcourt. Purdue's up 35-29, 1.9, 1.9 on the clock. Purdue's going to sub in the senior, Ethan Morton, to play 1.9 seconds because he has fouls to give, and he, of course, is an outstanding on-ball defender. So the senior, Ethan Morton, 6'7", from Butler, Pennsylvania, will come into the game for Braden Smith with 1.9. Again, North Carolina State will inbound near midcourt. And in a little bit of a comedy act there, Ethan was really struggling to get those snap pants off to be able to <laughs> enter into that game. Finally does. North Carolina State stolen, stolen by Lance Jones, but then he fell out of bounds with .9. That took one second. We're down to nine-tenths of a second after the steal by Lance Jones. Purdue will sub again. Trey Kaufman-Wren will enter the game so they can put him on the ball yep. so it's not easy for Morsell to throw it over the top. Well, now North Carolina State will take a timeout. Oh, the back-and-forth strategic moves from the coaches. Oh, no, North Carolina, they didn't take a timeout. They called everyone over to their bench, and official Kip Kissinger said, hey, if you're not taking a timeout, then get back over here and let's play ball. Let's see what and they'll Keats do. with the whiteboard there. Point nine, point nine here. Morsell in the corner. Horn, a three, hit the side of the backboard. Never really had a chance. Purdue played that about as well as you could defensively, and it takes us to halftime with Purdue leading 35-29. to 29. Well, it was a modest, and I mean modest, five to four Purdue run over the final three and a half minutes. But you did, at least I thought, sitting courtside, Bob, you felt like that little five to four scoring run put the momentum back on Purdue's side. Oh, it really did. Fletcher Lawyer, he tells the crowd, this is what I do, running back the other way after he drains that huge left wing triple on an inside out action with Zach Eady. I mean, Fletch is just, he's such a big game player, big shot maker. Purdue needed that shot super badly, and now they got a little Momo going to the halftime. It is Purdue 35 and North Carolina State 29. North Carolina State got as close as three late in the second half, but Purdue is able to hold them off. We are near the top of the hour, fans, so let us pause 10 seconds. For station identification, this is Boilermaker Basketball from Learfield. I'll give credit to North Carolina State. Their defense has really been disruptive for Purdue here in this ball game. They're not only just their on-ball defense, but picking and choosing their spots to double down once the ball goes inside to Zach Eady. They have done a great job of really harassing Purdue, forcing the Boilermakers into multiple turnovers in the first half. And that was, uh, that was a big part of this first half, the turnovers. Early in the game, Bob and I talked about how the first two turnovers of the game were dead ball turnovers. Purdue certainly could live with that. Now, that was not the case later on. And 
I'm only teasing you here because I'm going to give you all the halftime numbers in just a bit. We have reached ourselves the halftime horn here in the desert. State Farm Stadium. Purdue leading North Carolina State 35 to 29. Our Coors Light halftime report begins when we come back. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. You want it? We got it. University Bookstore has you covered on all Purdue Athletic Sports Apparel. Shop online at PurdueU.com. Anything and everything you need. Or visit us at our main location across from the Union and our stadium store across from Mackey Arena. You want it? We got it. Only at the official textbook source for Purdue Athletics. This is Mason Gillis, Purdue men's basketball. For my friends at the Haldeman Companies, proud supporters of Purdue University. They use the same principles for success that Coach Panner teaches us. The importance of teamwork, execution, and tremendous effort are keys to success. Their team includes farm managers, appraisers, and real estate brokers with the experience, knowledge, and professionalism to help you accomplish your farm goals. Since 1930, if it has anything to do with the business of farming, Haldeman can help. Visit Halderman.com to learn more. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. We boiler makers show our pride in a number of ways. From a Purdue flag flying high on game day to a black and gold tie worn to the office. That loyalty is built on precious memories, time-honored traditions, and lifelong friendships. It's everlasting, and it stays with you wherever you go. So whether you're at Mackey Arena, your hometown grocery store, or across the country, the pride is always there. And now with a Purdue Federal Visa Signature Card, you have one more way to show your pride. Purdue Federal, the official credit card for Purdue fans everywhere. Federally insured by NCUA. On the Purdue Global Sports Network, from Learfield, Boilermaker Basketball is brought to you by Coors Light, made to chill, proud sponsor of the Purdue Boilermakers. Also brought to you by Case IH, take your success off the court and out into the field with Case IH's superior farming tools. Visit your local Case IH dealer or learn more at caseih.com slash boilermakers. And by Indiana Kitchen Premium Pork Products. Get to know us at indianakitchen.com. Purdue Boilermaker Basketball is on the air. This is the Boilermaker Halftime Show. Welcome back to the Coors Light Halftime Report. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Proud partner of the Purdue Boilermakers. Rob Blackman here with my broadcast partner, Bobby Buckets Riddell. Purdue has a 35-29 lead over North Carolina State at the half. Boilermakers led by as many as 12 in the first half. That was actually when Purdue, uh, at the 629 mark, really was starting to put some distance between themselves and North Carolina State. Purdue was up 26-14 at that point. But then the Wolfpack got uber-aggressive defensively. It helped turn, to, uh, turn Purdue over a couple of times. They also got some really timely scoring from Breon Pass, who rarely scores but played off the bench and was a huge lift for North Carolina State. Purdue 35, North Carolina State 29. Purdue Bob with eight first-half turnovers. And the thing is, the eight turnovers come from two guys. Braden Smith had five. Zach Eady had three. Your two best players were accounted for all the turnovers. And that really hurt. I mean, obviously, they're the high, the two high usage guys, so uh, they're going to be the ones most likely picking up the most turnovers, but not to the level of having eight combined and a half. You know, Purdue has not had more than 10 in the NCAA tournament yet for the game, so it's going to require a, a big-time effort in the second half uh, as far as taking care of the rock to, you know, not eclipse 10 turnovers. But, uh, you know, I, I think Braden Smith would admit this as well, but that, that's probably the worst half of basketball he's played this entire season. And so if you're Purdue, you know, to be up six points against a quality opponent with your star point guard 
your second best player on the team not playing well, I, I think you have to feel pretty relieved with that and think, all right, if we can just get Braden, you know, have him get a shot go down, maybe have a nice assist, get feeling good about himself a little bit, uh, we should be in good shape. As much as I uh, have harped on the turnovers, the hard numbers say both teams had seven points off turnovers. Five, five turnovers for North Carolina State turned into Purdue seven, uh, seven Purdue points. Eight turnovers for Purdue turned into seven North Carolina State points. So the fact of the matter is that is a wash, at least points off turnovers. The problem is, man, if you're Purdue and let's say you only turn it over four times and that number for North Carolina, North Carolina State's down around three or two, instead of up six, maybe you're up eight or ten and you just feel a little bit better with where you're at right now. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, it was the, as well as Purdue shot the three, 41.7%. And from a defensive standpoint, really solid defense there for a while, uh, holding North Carolina State to just 44% shooting. There is a, a chance there that Purdue could have really had a nice little double-digit lead at the half, but unfortunately with those turnovers, uh, not being able to convert, get those possessions, especially when you had the momentum. You had some really nice momentum there early in the game, and then uh, you know a couple costly little over-and-back turnovers. You don't get a chance to, to get an offensive possession. And, uh, yeah, now you're only up six, so you feel good about being up, but you did maybe squander a chance to build one of those sizable leads. Zach Eady, 14 points, eight rebounds for the Boilermakers. Zach now... 89 straight double-figure scoring games. But the story in the first half for North Carolina State was the play of D.J. Horn. 13 points on 11 shots, including a made three-pointer. The guy that was third-team All-ACC, he was awfully good offensively in that first half for the Wolfpack. He certainly was. I mean, as far as shot-making goes, definitely has the capability to score from a lot of different angles. And uh, you know, just one for three from three, thankfully. So, you know, did miss a couple of triples, but uh, definitely a guy off the bounce that Purdue, from a quickness standpoint, you really got to be able to stick with them. And Purdue did a decent job at times, but at times, you know, running into some screening action and allowing him to get free. Purdue did shoot the ball from three well, five of 12. That's 41.7%, basically uh, right at the per season average for Purdue. And man, that was a good sign to see because again, Purdue against Tennessee last Sunday in uh, Detroit. Not great in that three-point line. Purdue was just 3 of 15 shooting there. Boy, the Makers, they uh, dominated the glass as they typically seem to do. Purdue out-rebounded North Carolina State 21 to 12. I'm giving you some of the numbers, but not all of them because we are going to take a short commercial break. And when we come back to the uh, State Farm Stadium, we'll have a complete wrap on the Halftime Stats, presented by Ruoff Home Mortgage. This is our Coors Light Halftime Report, where Purdue is leading North Carolina State 35-29, to the winner advancing on to Monday night's national championship game. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Unity Healthcare, a trusted pillar in the community for more than 25 years, offers healthcare services that you can depend on. With a team of over 80 highly skilled providers, Unity Healthcare is committed to making the best decisions for your health right here in your local community. Visit one of our many healthcare specialists or urgent care to meet your specific healthcare needs. www.unityhc.com because we believe in working together towards a healthier future. Unity Healthcare, healthier together. Water damage from a busted pipe can be a real nightmare in these frigid temps. For over 40 years, Hayes & Sons has been restoring water damage in Indiana homes and businesses. They'll help you navigate your insurance claim and get your life back on track. So when a water disaster strikes, tell your insurance agent you want Hayes & Sons for your restoration work. Visit HayesAndSons.com for more information. Domino's Mix and Match menu has items for every occasion. Flaked on your friend's open mic night? Flaky bread twists and molten lava cake should do the trick. Soccer team duty? Medium two-topping pizzas and stuffed cheesy bread are your best defense. Is it your dog's half birthday? <laughs> Celebrate his biggish day with savory sandwiches and tender specialty chicken. Mix and match two or more items for $6.99 each at Domino's. Ask for this offer two item minimum prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary. Bone and wings, bread bowl pasta, and pan pizza will cost extra. Local stores have delivery fees and can charge extra for some menu items. 
Keystone Cooperative is centered on delivering the farmer-owned cooperative of the future. Starting today, we're proud to be owned and operated by over 20,000 member owners. Keystone specializes in energy, home heat, agronomy, grain, animal nutrition, and swine production. And we remain centered on the valued relationships that have built and grown the cooperative for 100 years. Just like you, we're proud to back the boilers. Keystone Cooperative, centered on you. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by Purdue University. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Halftime here at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona, the site of the NCAA. Men's basketball final four, semifinal game number one with Purdue and North Carolina State. We are at the half. Boilermakers leading North Carolina State 35 to 29. Still to come later tonight, Alabama will be taking on defending national champion UConn. I'm Rob Blackman. Let's take a look at the halftime statistics presented by Ruoff Mortgage. Ruoff Mortgage is a proud supporter of Purdue basketball. Ruoff's top-notch, not top-notch customer service makes your home ownership dreams an easy reality. Apply online at ruoff.com. 13 of 29 shooting was NC State in the first half. That's 44.8%. They were 3 of 10 from the three-point line. We're the Wolfpack. They did not attempt a free throw in the first half. 13 first-half points for D.J. Horn. He is his team's leading scorer. Five points for Jaden Taylor, four for D.J. Burns Jr., and four for Breon Pass. They were the leading scorers in the first half for North Carolina State. North Carolina State had seven assists on the 13 made baskets. D.J. Burns had four of the seven. Five first-half turnovers for North Carolina State. Purdue, I beg your pardon, five steals for North Carolina State. They had two block shots to the Wolfpack. Twelve total rebounds for North Carolina State. Three of those were offensive boards that led to five second-chance points. For Purdue, 13 of 30 shooting, 43.3%. Purdue, 5 of 12 from the three-point line, 41.7%. Purdue made all four of its free throws, with two of those being made by Trey Kaufman-Wren and two made by Zach Eady. Boilermakers led in scoring by Zach Eady with 14 points. He also added eight rebounds and two assists. Six points apiece for Trey Kaufman, Wren, Fletcher Lawyer, and Lance Jones. Three points for Mason Gillis. That's all the folks that scored for Purdue in the first half. As Purdue had eight first half turnovers, three steals, no block shots. Boilermakers 21 rebounds, eight offensively. That led to 12 second chance points. Fast break points, two for North Carolina State, zero for the Boilermakers. Bench points, nine for North Carolina State, three for Purdue, those three coming from Mason Gillis. North Carolina State has not led in this game. Purdue had a 12-point lead with six and a half to go in the first half. Right now that lead is at six. And just for uh, <clears throat> mention, North Carolina State trailed Duke by six points last weekend in the Elite Eight at halftime. Came back to win that game over the Blue Devils and did so by shooting 73% in the second half. So, North Carolina State been here before. Halftime, Purdue leads 35-29. Coors Light, Mountain Cold Refreshment made to chill. Official partner of Purdue Athletics, 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. When we come back, Bob Burdell has a look at the out-of-town scoreboard. It's presented by your Central Indiana Honda dealers. This is the Coors Light Halftime Report. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. If your company is seeking to relocate or expand quickly, Hancock County, Indiana has a wide variety of business sites, including four shovel-ready certified silver business parks, plus higher-than-normal broadband capacity with an extensive fiber network with more than 2,000 miles of lines. Connecting opportunity with success. Contact the Hancock County Economic Development Council at www.hancockedc.com or at 317-477-7241.
you're a Boilermakers fan, you know that scoring big is everything. Few things feel as good as watching your team pass, shoot, and dribble their way to victory. Off the court, you can experience that same feeling with a Magnum tractor from Case IH. Magnum tractors match the power, speed, and strength of the best Boilermakers by helping you net every challenge that comes your way. Score big with a Magnum tractor this season by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Boilermakers to learn more. Boiler up! At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're good at insurance, but not just any insurance. We're good at... No, 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 no. Did you forget the parking brake? Yes, you forgot the parking brake. Insurance. When the forecast calls for cheese ball size hail insurance. Even shouldn't have parked under that tree. Insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Now's the time for a new Honda. Save thousands with 2.9% financing on a 2024 CRV. Full Honda inventory is here. Cars, SUVs, trucks, vans are all in stock. There's never been a better time to buy a new Honda. Save big with low payments or get your new Honda with 2.9% financing. Search your local Honda dealer today. See dealer for financing details for well qualified buyers offer in 4324. Welcome back to the halftime show where Purdue leads the North Carolina State Wolfpack 35 to 29 here in the first game of the Final Four. Time now for our out of town score segment, and out of town scores are brought to you by your Central Indiana Honda dealers. Let's take a look here at the women's Final Four that was played yesterday. The two games, the first one was between South Carolina and NC State. South Carolina, the one seed from their region, NC State, a three seed from theirs. And the Gamecocks of South Carolina with a big 78-59 to win, advancing them to the final. And then in the other semifinal, the number one seed Iowa Hawkeyes from their region take down the three seed Yukon Huskies from theirs in a close battle that goes down to the wire. The Hawkeyes are victorious 71-69. to So moving forward to the final on Sunday, April 7th, it'll tip at 3 o'clock Eastern on ABC ESPN between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the South Carolina Gamecocks. Drive the road to win with Honda and have fun off the court with the most fun-to-drive vehicles. Your Central Indiana Honda dealers are proud supporters of Purdue Athletics. We'll take a look at the keys of the second half in just a moment when we return to the Coors Light Halftime Report. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. You work hard. And at First Farmers Bank and Trust, we work hard for you. Since 1885, we've committed to helping families, businesses, and communities thrive financially. From home to the office, to the field, to the arena. We value hard work and perseverance as much as you do. Experience banking built on heart and grit today. Learn more at ffbt.com. First Farmers is a proud sponsor of Purdue Athletics. Member FDIC, Equal Opportunity Lender. This is Mason Gillis, Purdue men's basketball. For my friends at the Haldeman Companies, proud supporters of Purdue University. They use the same principles for success that Coach Panner teaches us. The importance of teamwork, execution, and tremendous effort are keys to success. Their team includes farm managers, appraisers, and real estate brokers with the experience, knowledge, and professionalism to help you accomplish your farm goals. Since 1930, if it has anything to do with the business of farming, Haldeman can help. Visit Haldeman.com to learn more. Franciscan Health is proud to be the official medical provider for Purdue Athletics. Does a sudden sports injury have you on the bench? We can assist. Franciscan Health sports medicine specialists have mastered a team approach to sports injuries. You'll have access to a network of orthopedic professionals, rehabilitation services, and highly advanced technologies and treatments to get you back out on the field. To learn more, visit franciscanhealth.org slash sportsmedicine. You know you've got a comeback in you. When you take the next step, you're going to make it count for your career, for your family, for your life. You can earn a degree you're proud of with Purdue Global. Purdue Global is backed by Purdue University, one of the nation's most respected and innovative public universities. This is your chance. This is your opportunity. This is your comeback. Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Start your comeback today at purdueglobal.edu. 
almost time to start the second half here in Glendale. Purdue 35, North Carolina State 29. Rob Blackman courtside with Bobby Riddell and our on-site audio engineer, Wes Scott. We gave you the numbers from the first half. We can assume Matt Painter talked at length in that locker room about taking care of the basketball here in the second half because Purdue's winning the rebounding battle. Now just try to at least stay even in that turnover department. No question. Purdue rebounding-wise and forcing their will, they had a ton of offensive rebounds, eight in total. But turnover-wise, that's where they're losing that battle by three. Fortunately, points from turnovers is tied. But, man, if Purdue can just take care of the rock here, get shots at the rim, let their offensive rebounding do a lot of the work for them like they did at times in the first half, you know, it's going to be a tough way for NC State to pull this out. They're going to have to improve their shot making, produce solid shooting from three. Let's see if they can keep that up. Purdue wearing white here in the desert. Purdue's the designated home team as the higher seed, the one seed, North Carolina State in red. Red uniforms with white numerals and trim front and back. It reads NC State in white across the chest. Purdue's throwback white unis script Purdue across the chest in black. And we are underway. DJ Horn, the first possession for North Carolina State in the second half. Right to left, rising and shooting from the left elbow and missing. And Trey Kaufman Wren rebounds for the Boilermakers. Third rebound of the game for Trey Kaufman Wren. So here we are, 15 seconds in, and Purdue has their opening possession of half number two. Top of the key, Trey Kaufman Wren. Left wing chest pass to Lawyer. He lobs into Edie. Will they double team as he works against Middlebrooks? Back to Lawyer. Lawyer wants to drive. Kick out to Lance Jones, right back inside to Edie, and Edie had it taken away, and we'll have a held ball. Middlebrooks reached in and tied up Zach Edie, and on the held ball possession, Purdue will have it baseline right. Shot clock, however, stays at five seconds here. That's where you like retaining possession, but you hate that it comes with only the five seconds remaining on the shot clock. Purdue has to work in a hurry. Quickly to Trey Kaufman Wren. And a foul on North Carolina State. A dribble handoff to Fletcher Lawyer, and he got clobbered. That is a huge break for Purdue because it resets the shot clock. And the foul comes with two and a half seconds on the shot clock, and Fletcher was in really no position at that point, it appeared, to get off a quality shot. See if Purdue can take advantage. The foul, by the way, was on Morsell, his second. Right wing, it goes to Lance Jones. He will shoot a three, and I'll knock it home. A triple time, third triple of the game for Lance Jones. Oh, and what a pass by Coffin Wren. He was a half second away from traveling, but he was able to get rid of it just in the nick of time before that next foot came down, and Lance Jones was ready. Watermakers have a lead of 38-29. We have played 65 seconds of the second half. Burns a short floater, no good, and a foul on North Carolina State. I didn't see who pushed Fletcher Lawyer in the back, but I saw Fletch go flying, and that will go against North Carolina State's Ben Middlebrooks, his second. Wow, Purdue very fortunate there because Edie comes over with Coffin Run on the double as the shot goes up. It comes weak side, and only Fletcher Lawyer is over there for Purdue, but he jumps and gets a little shove in the back from Middlebrooks. The officials see it, and Purdue now has possession. How about Middlebrook starting the second half in place of Diara? Boilermakers up 38-29 with a ball. Throwing it inside on the right block to Trey Kaufman Wren. Working against Burns. Leaning into Burns. And shooting, and he was fouled. Oh, who's this one going to go against? If it's DJ Burns, that's DJ. his third. How about the aggressiveness of Trey Kaufman Wren to shot fake and then go right at DJ Burns Jr.? And that's three fouls on Burns. Two foul shots coming for Trey Kaufman Wren. Nice footwork there from Trey. And how about another personnel thing? Michael O'Connell. I don't even see him on the bench. He started this game. Now Jaden Taylor out there as Trey Kaufman Wren sinks his third consecutive free throw. Hits that first one here. He's going to get one more. But, yeah, no O'Connell even on the bench. Maybe, uh, well, actually, you know what? I see him over there all the way in the back working out his leg. Second free throw was short. First missed free throw of the game for Purdue. Trey Kaufman Wren is three of four at the line. Purdue's up 39-29. North Carolina State has the basketball. 18-15 remains of the game here in the home of the Arizona Cardinals. State Farm Stadium. Burns on the left elbow, playing with three fouls. Had it taken away, but a foul was called. Lance Jones came on the double down, but he wasn't able to steal cleanly. And it's the first foul of the game called against Lance Jones, the Evanston, Illinois native. Lance Jones trying to be a little 
frisky there and come from the backside. Almost had it, but he gave the thumbs up to the official. He felt like it was a good call. 18.07, and now a foul on the inbound. Cutting hard from the perimeter, Jaden Taylor. And chasing him from behind, Braden Smith, and Braden fouled to save a layup on a baseline inbounds. Second foul on Braden Smith, and now North Carolina State inbounds again, baseline left. It was a good foul by Braden, though, because it was going to be a layup if he doesn't commit that foul. Burns trying to back down Edie on the left block, spins to the left baseline, shoots strongly and scores. The big fella went right at the big fella, and it's two points for D.J. Burns. He has six. That was impressive. He drops that right shoulder, and he moves Zach Eady. Not many people can move Zach Eady. He does there and creates space for his left hook. 17.42 to go. Purdue throws it inside to Trey kaufman Wren. Working on Burns. Spinning against Burns. Shooting and missing. He had a nice look, but he couldn't get it to go. Picked up by Horn of North Carolina State. In the left corner for a Taylor three. It's no good. Rebounded Lance Jones taking it away from Middlebrooks. Good look for the Indianapolis native, Jaden Taylor, but it wouldn't go in. Purdue's up 39-31 with the ball. 17-20 to go in the game. Again, Trey kaufman Wren challenges Burns. Kick it out to Lawyer. Lawyer to the baseline. Bounces inside to Edie. Edie on Middlebrooks. Poked away and stolen from behind. Good poke away. Taylor. Morcel with the ball. Now to Taylor. The red-clad Wolfpack working right to left here in this second half. Top of the key, D.J. Burns Jr. dribbles once, gives it up right wing to D.J. Horn. Horn to the right baseline, stops and has stolen. Stolen away by Braden Smith. Quickly ahead to Lance Jones. A three in transition, in and out, no good. That would have brought the house down. Rebounded North Carolina State's more so. Mm, that was a good look from Lance. Maybe a little quick, of course, but he did just hit his last one. 16.38 to go in the ball game. Purdue with an eight-point lead. Morcel kicking a corner. A horn three. Long rebounded Trey kaufman Wren. Initially touched by Fletcher Lawyer. He tipped it to Trey kaufman Wren accidentally, but Purdue takes it regardless. Speaking of Fletcher Lawyer, he'll shoot from the left wing a three. That one's in and out. No good. Boy, Purdue's getting so close on these threes. Quickly ahead to Horn. Transition for North Carolina State. Fouled as he was going strong to the rim. And if it's Braden Smith, he just picked up his third foul and it is three fouls on Braden Smith. Again, another three that did everything except go into the basket. And when it popped out, it put North Carolina State into transition. And they, they, they called the foul on Fletcher, actually, in copy transition that, there. Copy that. So a good break for Purdue as that would have been Braden's third. Braden still with only two. Fletcher Lawyer with one. But, man, it's a really good look by Fletcher there on that left wing. It just rattles out. Very Two very similar misses in a row for Purdue. D.J. Horn, 81% foul shooter on the year, making the first. He has 14 points. Purdue will sub in Mason Gillis to replace Trey kaufman Wren. Diara subbing in. First time he plays in the second half for North Carolina State. Same for Breon Pass. As it looks like they may go the distance without Michael O'Connell, who continues to try to work out that, uh, that hamstring over there on the stationary bike trying to get some reps in. Trying to do some running over there as well. Second free throw also made by D.J. Horn. So Purdue is leading 39-33 with 16-10 remaining in the game. Braden Smith guarded closely by pass near the center circle. Chest pass, high left wing, caught by Edie. Edie in a triple threat, three, uh, feeds Gillis. Chest pass right side, Lance Jones. Now to Edie, to Fletch Lawyer. Lobbing back to Edie. Couldn't catch it, lost it out of bounds. Not a great pass, well defended by North Carolina State. And that will be North Carolina State basketball. Timeout on the floor. 15-52 remains. Purdue 39, North Carolina State 33. On the Central Indiana Honda Dealer scoreboard, this is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Keystone Cooperative is centered on delivering the farmer-owned cooperative of the future. Starting today, we're proud to be owned and operated by over 20,000 member owners. Keystone specializes in energy, home heat, agronomy, grain, animal nutrition, and swine production. And we remain centered on the valued relationships that have built and grown the cooperative for 100 years. Just like you, we're proud to back the boilers. Keystone Cooperative, centered on you. We boiler makers show our pride in a number of ways. From a Purdue flag flying high on game day to a black and gold tie worn to the office. 
That loyalty is built on precious memories, time-honored traditions, and lifelong friendships. It's everlasting, and it stays with you wherever you go. So whether you're at Mackey Arena, your hometown grocery store, or across the country, the pride is always there. And now with the Purdue Federal Visa Signature Card, you have one more way to show your pride. Purdue Federal, the official credit card for Purdue fans everywhere. Federally insured by NCUA. I get paid to do this. How cool is this? Wow. It's like <laughs> me getting paid to be a coach. And for me, I don't think there's a place out there better for me than Purdue University. Hi, I'm Kate Young, host of This is Purdue, the official podcast of Purdue University. Over the last three years, my conversations with Boilermakers have been serious, informative, and in the case of that exchange with former Purdue basketball coach Gene Cady and current head coach Matt Painter, downright fun. Be sure to follow This is Purdue on your favorite podcast app or on YouTube. Now's the time for a new Honda. Save thousands with 2.9% financing on a 2024 CRV. Full Honda inventory is here. Cars, SUVs, trucks, vans are all in stock. There's never been a better time to buy a new Honda. Save big with low payments or get your new Honda with 2.9% financing. Search your local Honda dealer today. See dealer for financing details for low qualified buyers offer in 2024. This is Sasha Stefanovic, and you're listening to Purdue Basketball. Purdue men's basketball postseason, sponsored by BW Fusion. Say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion, and goodbye to traditional crop nutrition. Find out how to build your most powerful gallon in ag today at mpga.ag. BW Fusion, proud presenting sponsor of Purdue men's basketball postseason. Boy, the makers have turned it over 10 times. That has allowed North Carolina State to stay within shouting distance. Purdue has a lead of 39-33 at the 15-52 mark. One thing helping Purdue is North Carolina State not shooting the three particularly well so far. Just 3 of 12, 25%, 0 for 2 so far here in the second half from deep. North Carolina State does have the ball as we resume action. They're working right to left here in the second half. And what is a huge crowd, well over 60,000 here in the desert. Right wing horn, dribbles right elbow, shoots a floater, long rebound, missed. Uh, we'll grab by Braden Smith ahead to Lance Jones, who almost dribbled it out of bounds, and he did. He couldn't quite, as he caught the ball and dribbled, he was a little too ahead of himself. And he dribbled it out of bounds baseline right. He was full speed ahead, and he just couldn't gather himself to save the ball inbounds. Purdue's 11th turnover. So I'll give it right back to North Carolina State. You get North Carolina State to miss a shot, you get the rebound, but then you give it right back to the Wolfpack. Diara, perimeter left, guarded by Mason Gillis to horn a three. Long, no good, rebounded Lance Jones. Three-point shooting now, just three of 14 in the game for North Carolina State. Purdue six of 15. 15 minutes, five seconds to go in this game. Purdue with a six-point lead. Into Edie it goes on Middlebrooks, working from the left block. Spinning, and he was grabbed around the waist by Middlebrooks. Middlebrooks understood if he doesn't foul, he's about to get dunked on. He takes the foul, his third. Purdue will inbound baseline right. Zach Eady definitely a little frustration here after that foul. Gives uh, Middlebrooks a little bit of a stare down as he's on the ground. I think hopefully for Purdue, Zach Eady can maybe get a little angry here and go on a run because Middlebrooks has done a pretty good job on him here as of late. Four team fouls for North Carolina State. Purdue has committed three here in the second half. 15 minutes exactly remaining. Purdue with a six-point lead. Lawyer inside to Edie on the block. That's a left block again against Middlebrooks. Kicks it out to Lance Jones, throws it right back into Zach. Zach lost it, lost it, got it back, then lost it again, and Purdue turns it over again. Breon pass on the double down, harassing Zach Edie. And another turnover, Purdue gives it right back to the Wolfpack. This is an offensive struggle here for both these teams. Zach Eady trying to go inside out after the second time. Loses the ball as he's trying to gather it to make his pass. And then as that thing was loose, it ends up going off Lance Jones's left leg. North Carolina State the ball. The only good news here is North Carolina State hasn't taken advantage at the other end right. by making shots, at least not yet. 14 and a half remaining. Horn left baseline, drives, kicks it into the corner. Three on the way for pass is no good. Rebounded Mason Gillis. 
Boy, a pass would have made that one. He's only made five threes all year. Had that one gone in, holy mackerel. He missed it pretty badly as well. Now Purdue again with the ball. 14-15 remaining. Purdue just needs to take care of that ball, get a high-quality shot. Here's one from the left elbow for Lance Jones, but it's short. And it is rebounded by Breon Pass of North Carolina State. Ahead to Horn. Horn from the free throw line. Will pull the trigger and miss long. Rebounded Braden Smith. Boy, North Carolina State can't make a shot. Purdue can't take care of the ball. It's been ugly offense here in the second half for both ball clubs. Both ball clubs extremely fortunate to be in the positions they're in basically at this point because neither team taking advantage. 13.45 remains in a game. Edie on the left block again against Middlebrooks. Kicks in the corner. A three on the way. Triple time. Mason Gillis. Oh, thank you, Gilly. We needed that one, babes. Oh, Mason, man. He has been so clutch this entire year. Leading Purdue in three-point shooting percentage. He is dialed in today. Two of two here from deep. A big shot in that left corner as they tried to give help on Zach Edie. Crowd is alive and stolen. A steal by Fletcher Lawyer who saved it from going out of bounds by throwing it off the hip of Casey Morsell. And now that Purdue fan base is standing and cheering full throat as Purdue leads 42-33. to About Fletcher Lawyer, not known for his defense, but he seems to come up with timely defensive plays. Had the charge earlier this time. Just shoots the gap on a pro cut there by Morsell. Fletch shoots the gap, gets on top of it, gets the steal, jumps in the air, rifles it off Morsell's shoulder out of bounds and then he was hyping up the crowd. Purdue up nine. Let's go. Time to get a nice little push here to get a double-digit lead. 13-18 remains in the bowl game. Here's full-court pressure from North Carolina State. They're in a man-to-man full-court press right now. Braden Smith is working against Breon Pass, trying to break the pressure and does, getting to the 10-second barrier. Left to right come the Boilermakers in their white unis. Left side, Gillis. Diara's on him. Bounces it inside to Edie. Double team. Knocked away. Stolen by North Carolina State. Again, their double team down low on Zach Edie. Causes a Purdue turnover. Morsell will drive. He'll shoot. He'll miss. Rebounded Mason Gillis. Boilermakers have numbers if they want to go in a hurry. Left to right. Here comes Purdue. Left wing, Lance Jones. Shooting a three in transition. Triple time. His fourth made three of the game. Timeout. North Carolina State. Lance Jones in his career has made 285 three-point shots. Number 285 feels awfully sweet right about now. Purdue 45, North Carolina State 33, 12.40 to go in the game on the Central Indiana Honda Dealer scoreboard. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Talking on the phone is difficult if you've been exposed to loud noises over time. Combat veterans, factory workers, farmers, gun and motorcycle enthusiasts can have trouble hearing on the telephone. Relay Indiana helps return clarity to your phone conversations. Relay Indiana also provides free loaned equipment to those who qualify. Get the CapTel Caption Telephone from Relay Indiana. Visit RelayIndiana.com now. Water damage from a busted pipe can be a real nightmare in these frigid temps. For over 40 years, Hayes and Sons has been restoring water damage in Indiana homes and businesses. They'll help you navigate your insurance claim and get your life back on track. So when a water disaster strikes, tell your insurance agent you want Hayes and Sons for your restoration work. Visit HayesandSons.com for more information. Family-owned, women-owned, serving Crater Lafayette for over 33 years. Shuttles to and from Indianapolis and O'Hare airports 365 days a year. Make your reservations now at LafayetteLimo.com. Charters of all sizes anywhere in the continental USA. Lafayette Limo, proud sponsor of Purdue Athletics. Just sit back and let us drive. There's no need to compromise. Your ride to relaxation. Lafayette Limo. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're good at insurance, but not just any insurance. We're good at fireworks don't go in the attic insurance, hole in window insurance, even guy that shouldn't have a chainsaw but has a chainsaw insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. 
Athletics would like to thank and recognize members of the Black and Gold Club who support Purdue Athletics through their sponsorship at the highest level. Black and Gold Club members include Indiana Packers, Molson Coors, Purdue Federal Credit Union, Purdue Global, Rorman Automotive Group, and Wabash each are great partners of Purdue Athletics. Purdue has matched its largest lead of the game at 12 Purdue 45, North Carolina State 33 with 12.40 remaining in the game. And Bob Riddell, the turnover number for Purdue right now is at 13. That's the number we talk a lot about this season. Yes, it is, because once it gets above 13, it gets into that coin toss area with Purdue. They're 6-4 and four on the year record-wise when it gets above 13. So as uh, our good radio engineer Wes Scott just said in the commercial break let's make it seven and four because inevitably Purdue <laughs> is going to turn it over one more time probably in this game but uh, hey we would also love it if they don't but uh, I think probably the biggest stat of the game right now might be NC State only converting seven points off of those 13 turnovers good point NC State the ball the Wolfpack and their red unis as we're back to action right wing chest pass DJ Horn he throws it inside to DJ Burns posting against Zach Eady trying to back him down in the middle of the paint shooting a fallaway jumper and scoring. Falling away off of one foot and knocking it down. DJ Burns, eight points in the game for him. Purdue leads 45-35. That was a tough fall away there over the top of Big Z, but Purdue will live with those. He makes tough shots. That's what makes him so dangerous. Braden Smith, right elbow, faking a shot, bouncing it into Edie. Edie against Burns, trying to return the favor and missed. The in and out, no good. Middlebrooks rebounds for North Carolina State. Here come the Wolfpack on the run. 11.50 to go in the ballgame. Inside to Burns. Catches it. Short left wing. Shooting and missing badly, but rebounded Morcel. His shot blocked by Edie. Morcel tried to put it back on the rim, and Zach Edie had a different thought. Purdue with the ball. It. Yeah, I don't think he did either. Wodemakers with it here. Lobbing into Edie. Edie again on Burns. Spins to the left shoulder. This time he scores with a right-handed hook shot. 16 in the game for Zach Eady. Purdue now leads 47-35 with 11-20 remaining. And that was quite a bit of forearm contact in the hip on Big Z in that shooting motion, but Big Z with that soft touch gets it to go. Horn in the front court, chest pass right wing Morcel. Bounces right baseline, caught by Burns. Trying to back down Eady. Spinning to his right shoulder, now to his left. Shooting and missing. Good defense there. Rebounded Mason Gillis. Purdue on the run. Lawyer fakes a three, dribbles to the rim, shoots it and misses. Middlebrooks rebounds for North Carolina State. And now here comes North Carolina State. They have a three on two. They'll shoot a three and get it. D.J. Horn had an open three in the right wing. Purdue 47, North Carolina State 38 with 10.40 to go. Well, that's a tough break for Purdue. You get that layup opportunity. Fletcher Lurie just short arms and a little bit of good contest at the rim by the pack. Then Braden Smith diving in transition, misses that ball and leads to a three. Braden Smith throws it top of the key. Mason Gillis, Middlebrook on him. Now inside to Edie's. Just a step off the right block. Back out to Lance Jones. Three on the way. This one is short. Barely grazed the front of the rim. Rebounded by D.J. Horn of North Carolina State. He wants to push tempo right to left. Shot fakes, now gives to Middlebrooks, who gives it right back to Horn. Horn back to Middlebrooks. Diving, stepping, shooting, missing, rebounded Zach Eady. North Carolina State bench begging for a foul. They thought Eady fouled Middlebrooks on the drive, didn't get the call. We're down to 10 minutes to go in the ballgame. Braden Smith, crossover dribble, finds Gillis behind him to shoot a three. It is up. It is no good. It's tipped out by Zach Eady and picked up by Fletcher Lawyer, who got clobbered by Morsell. Foul on Morcell. Excellent tip out by Zach Eady. Timeout on the floor. Purdue has the ball when we come back. 9.51 remains in the game. Purdue 47, North Carolina State 38 on the Central Indiana Honda Dealer scoreboard. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. This is your moment, your time to shine, your comeback. You're ready for the next step in your career, and you want an education employers respect. So you're not just going back to school. You're coming back with Purdue Global. Backed by Purdue University, one of the nation's most respected public universities, Purdue Global is built for people who bring their life experience into the online classroom. Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Start your comeback today at purdueglobal.edu. 
Hey, Purdue fans, say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion and say goodbye to traditional crop nutrition. We've simplified product selection to create a personalized gallon that's crafted for your specific crop, problem areas, budget, and more. It enhances your farm's profitability, 30-plus years of crop nutrition data, and industry leadership. Build your most powerful gallon in ag with BW Fusion today at mpga.ag. Let's get back to the action. Boiler up. Franciscan Health is proud to be the official medical provider for Purdue Athletics. Does a sudden sports injury have you on the bench? We can assist. Franciscan Health sports medicine specialists have mastered a team approach to sports injuries. You'll have access to a network of orthopedic professionals, rehabilitation services, and highly advanced technologies and treatments to get you back out on the field. To learn more, visit franciscanhealth.org slash sportsmedicine. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog, because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. This is Braden Smith, and you're listening to Purdue Basketball. Purdue 47, North Carolina State 38. 9.51 remains in the game. For all you golfers out there, the Ackerman Allen course at Burke Boilermaker Golf Complex is open. Come out and enjoy an early spring round. 2024 memberships still available. Book your tee time or join today at PurdueGolf.com. Purdue is 8 of 19 from 3. North Carolina State 4 of 15. Purdue winning the battle of the rebounds, 34-21, including nine offensive rebounds, which have led to 12 Purdue second-chance points. And it's pretty, been a pretty clean game, too, if you judge that off of the free throws taken. Just eight free throws taken in total in this game. North Carolina State two for two from the line, while Purdue is five of six. So not a whole lot of foul shooting here, but obviously in a close game, there could inevitably be, inevitably be some big foul shooting late. Purdue two fouls away from getting into the bonus offensively. Purdue does have the ball. That last foul that took us to a commercial timeout, the fifth team foul on North Carolina State. So here's Purdue working now. Braden Smith dribbling left elbow, top of the key, Lawyer. He wants to drive and does, and had his shot blocked by Horn, then lost out of bounds. It hit the baseline. Once Horn blocked it, it actually bounced on the baseline. So Purdue keeps the ball baseline right, but with only five on the shot clock here. I think that was where the official, because he didn't call the foul, he just gives Purdue the basketball instead. Purdue lobs to Edie, catches, shoots, and scores a perfect pass. Fletcher Lawyer off a baseline inbound. Edie caught it and shot it all in one motion and made it. I thought I'd seen Zach Edie do everything possible from you know his ability right there, catching all in one motion in the center of the lane and fires. Horn drives and finds Diara. His layup good. Purdue 49, North Carolina State 40. Diara with a layup. That's his first scoring of the game, averaging six per contest. 9.07 remaining. Blew up by nine. Lance Jones with the left elbow. Hesitation dribble. Keeps going to the rim. He missed the shot, however, and it's rebounded by Burns. He has a run out. Throws it out to a teammate. Layup. Good. No, missed it. How in the world did Jaden Taylor miss a wide open layup? Purdue has the ball. Oh, Purdue caught a major wow. break there. Uh, there. The Zach Eady presence there in transition. Boy, the Forces Bakers, the miss. 8.40 to go. Purdue catching a break. Purdue with a nine-point lead. Throw it in into Eady to the corner. Gillis catch and shoot three. It's long, and Burns rebounds weak side for North Carolina State. Here they come on a run. Jaden Taylor left baseline. Lost it, lost it, lost it out of bounds. He lost it once. He lost it twice. And then he finally fumbled it out of bounds. Baseline left with Fletcher Lawyer draped all over him. That is a North Carolina State turnover with 8.27 remaining. Great job by Fletcher Lawyer. They're taking the shot away by Jaden Taylor in transition. You can tell he kind of wanted to get into a rhythm three. You take it away, and then you move your feet, stay in front. Taylor bobbles that thing out of bounds. Clock ticking at 8.22 remaining. Purdue 49, North Carolina State 40. 
Three on pass, guarding Braden Smith as he brings it over the timeline. Boy, Braden looks tired. He's worked hard today. Three on the way for Braden. It is short, and a rebound by D.J. Horn for North Carolina State. That was well short there. 8.07 to go. Horn, right elbow, rising, firing, scoring. D.J. Horn. Seven second half points, 20 in the game. And all of a sudden, it's 49-42. Purdue the lead with 7.52 remaining. North Carolina State rising their fans to their feet. Trying to employ their ball club to find a way. Lawyer drives, attacks Burns. Lost it out of bounds, but last touch by D.J. Burns. And we have a timeout on the floor. 7.37 to go in the game. On a Central Indiana Honda dealer scoreboard, Purdue 49, North Carolina State 42. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Hi, Katie Geralds here, head women's basketball coach at Purdue University. I'm a proud graduate of our College of Liberal Arts. My degree prepared me to connect with people and communicate well on and off the court, skills I use every day. I'm excited about the Degree Plus program, which allows all Purdue students to earn a Bachelor of Science degree and one from Liberal Arts and still graduate in four years. This and one can be a game changer. Check out the College of Liberal Arts Degree Plus program to see if this and one is a winner for you. We boiler makers show our pride in a number of ways. From a Purdue flag flying high on game day to a black and gold tie worn to the office. That loyalty is built on precious memories, time-honored traditions, and lifelong friendships. It's everlasting, and it stays with you wherever you go. So whether you're at Mackey Arena, your hometown grocery store, or across the country, the pride is always there. And now with a Purdue Federal Visa Signature Card, you have one more way to show your pride. Purdue Federal, the official credit card for Purdue fans everywhere. Federally insured by NCUA. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're good at insurance. But not just any insurance. We're good at... No, 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 no! Did you forget the parking brake? Yes, you forgot the parking brake. Insurance. When the forecast calls for cheese ball size hail insurance! Even shouldn't have parked under that tree. Insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Spring is here, and this is your time to venture out and re-emerge in a new versatile Ford SUV. Go anywhere and do anything in a Ford Escape, Explorer, Edge, or Bronco Sport. All with the capability, power, and tech that will help you forge new paths. Don't hold back. It's your time to hit the road. Get out there and experience it in a new Ford SUV. Go to buyfordnow.com and then head on over to your local Ford store today. North Carolina State 42. 7.37 remains in the game. Raven Smith is scoreless. Purdue's second leading scorer on the season is 0 of 7 shooting, including 0 of 4 from the three-point line. He does have seven rebounds, six assists, and three steals, but he does also have five turnovers, and credit North Carolina State. They have done everything in their power to make it tough tonight on Braden Smith, and they have been very good at doing just that. Yeah, no question. It's something that Purdue tries to do from a defensive standpoint a lot as well, like jam a, a ball, jam the opposing point guard 94 feet, just make them work all game long. You try to wear them out and you know, make them feel your presence. You know, Lance Jones has done that really well at times this year, uh, and I feel like that's you know kind of affected Braden Smith. They've really been on him all game long. Purdue inbounding baseline right with 10 on the shot clock. Zach Eady with 18 points in this game. D.J. Horn has scored 20 for North Carolina State. Lance Jones, the inbounder, lobs it to the near side corner, far side corner, I beg your pardon, caught by Lawyer. Lawyer lobs to Edie on Burns, back out to Lawyer, who will drive and shoot a short floater. He was fouled. He was fouled by Diara as he went flying in there aggressively to shoot a floater. Now, this is significant for a number of reasons. One, it's two foul shots for Fletcher Lawyer. Secondly, that's team foul number six on North Carolina State with 7.28 to play. Great drive there by Fletch. Kind of sensing the shot clock winding down. Get into that painted area. Get a floater. Even if you just get it up on the glass, a good chance Zach or Trey Kaufman Ren can pull it down, but he does get to the line. Fletcher Lawyer stepping to the line, wearing number two on that white uniform and making the first foul shot. He has seven points. 
Nikolic is an 86% foul shooter this year. Big Ten honorable mention selection. Michael O'Connell subbing into this game for NC State here. And a second free throw also made by Fletcher. Purdue leading 51-42. 7.25 to go. And a foul where? Wow, Green Smith, a little chippy one there, top of the key. Oh, I didn't see that one, folks. But it is his third. He's guarding closely Michael O'Connell and was hit with a foul. So O'Connell lost the dribble there, and Braden kind of sensed blood in the water. And after it just a little bit, and there was a little body contact. Rising and firing. That's D.J. Horn and missing from the top of the key, and it's rebounded by Braden Smith. Got it, and then yeah. he saved it from going out of bounds by lobbing it to Zach Eady. Smart play. Just throw it up for the 7-4 guy. He'll catch it. And now Purdue has the possession. 7.05 to go. Catch for Zach Eady on the perimeter right. His toes are on the three-point line. Top of the key will feed Trey kaufman Wren. Back to Braden Smith. Guarded closely by D.J. Horn. To Eady. Shot clock at four. Purdue needs to hurry. Lance Jones a floater. Good! Lance Jones deep into the bag with a float game. Purdue now leading 53-42. Float game is right. Lance a soft touch in the lane and Boilers up 11. 14 for Lance Jones. Baseline catch on the left side. Horn try to back down Eady to the block. Spins on Eady. Muscles against Eady. Shoots and is called for traveling. He got a little too anxious as he was finding his way underneath the bucket dribbling. And that's a North Carolina State turnover with 6.29 to play. Burns doing what he's so successful in, where he goes baseline then uses his sheer size to get an angle. But this time just a little bunny hop there as he tries to get to that right block after going baseline side. And that's a big turnover there. Now ninth turnover for NC State. That's right about their average. Here's the full court press, man-to-man -man variety. Up the near sideline, dribbling with his right hand, Braden Smith, to break the pressure. We're down to 6.20 to play. Purdue throws it inside to Edie. Outside to Lawyer. Top of the key, throws it right back into Edie against Middlebrooks. Dribbling twice, shooting with the right hand, scoring over Middlebrooks. Two more for Zach Edie. Six in the second half for Edie. 20 points in the game. Purdue extends the lead to 55-42 with six minutes remaining here in Phoenix. Jaden Taylor using a screen. Middlebrooks on the high left wing. Attacks the bucket, stops, shoots a floater. In and out, won't go. Foul on Lawyer. Boy, that shot almost went into the basket. It rolled around and then it fell off on the left side of the rim. Purdue fans exhaled there. That could have been an easily in hand one. Instead, uh, Jaden Taylor, Indianapolis native, will go to the foul line where he's a 76% foul shooter with two foul shots. Taylor really crafty there. Had Fletcher Lawyer kind of on his left hip as Taylor rims out the first free throw. Good break for Purdue. And he's feeling Fletcher on his hip, and he just kind of jumps sideways into Fletcher, initiating the contact, and uh, got that whistle. But big break there, misses the first. Second one good for Jaden Taylor. Six points in the game. Jumping into that full court pressure is North Carolina State. Now they're in a 1-2-2 two, two, three-quarter court press. See if Purdue can break that pressure. They do. Dribbling over the timeline, Braden Smith, the aura on him. 5.40 to go in the game. Purdue 55, North Carolina State 43. Braden, glad to see no uh, little guard guarding him finally. Yeah, Diara now on him. Diara stands 6'10". Braden Smith now switched off on Middlebrook. Shot clock at three. Purdue better hurry here. Lawyer against the horn, a three, no, and that'll be a shot clock violation. Purdue turnover, their 14th, but a dead ball turnover with 5.20 to play. Absolutely. You, you take that at that point, shot clock violation. Much rather have that set your defense up 12, 5.20 to go than, you know, allow NC State to get out and run. But um, just, yeah, a poor decision there from Braden Smith. He gets the switch late. If you can't get it inside to Zach with the mismatch on Diara, then you got to, you know, you got to make go make an individual play against Middlebrooks. Create your own shot. He tried a little step back, didn't create the separation he wanted to. Used the pump fake. Middlebrooks stayed down, and then it was trouble for Purdue. 12 point Purdue lead with 5.09 to go. Burns against Edie. Kick it out for a three on the way. This is DJ Horn who shot an air ball. He shot an air ball. It bounces out of bounds carelessly on the left baseline. Purdue will have the possession. 
Mason Gillis will sub into the game. 5.03 to play. Purdue 55, North Carolina State 43. And North Carolina State again will jump into its 1-2-2 three-quarter court press. And Purdue handle the pressure. They do by throwing up to Mason Gillis up the far sideline. Purdue has the ball in the front court with less than five minutes remaining. Braden Smith is the dribbler standing on the final four logo midcourt. Right-handed dribble off a screen, Edie right wing. Top of the key, Gillis faking a three, throwing it left wing to Lawyer who lobs into Edie. Shot clock at six. Lady ba uh, Edie back to Lawyer. Three on the way. Triple time! Fletcher Lawyer, his third made three of the game. Purdue leads by 15. Oh, baby. Fletcher Lawyer, deep left corner. You can't leave my man Fletch because he is a big-time shot maker and he comes through huge. Not sure why they doubled off Fletcher in the corner on the ball side, but they did. Blue made him pay. 4.15 remaining. Taylor, left-handed layup blocked. Blocked by Edie. Saved in bounds by Gillis. Somehow back into the hands of Taylor. Five on a shot clock. Top of the key, Morsell. Oh, they reset the shot clock. Now he throws up a wild shot. No good. Grabbed by Zach Edie. Under four minutes to play, and what a crazy sequence that was right there. Purdue with the ball. 3.52 to go. 58-43. Purdue the lead. Braden Smith guarded closely by Morsell. 35 feet from the bucket. High right wing. A catch for Gillis. Top of the key. Lawyer. Inside to Edie. Out to Lawyer. He'll fire up a three. No off the front of the rim. Rebounded Zach Edie. Purdue will recycle. Purdue recycles with 3.30 to go in the game. 15 on the shot clock. Purdue by 15. Braden Smith, a three, right wing, dagger, triple time. Dagger is right, my friend. I thought Braden might go to the night-night celebration, but he held that one back. He's been struggling today, but that could be the nail in the coffin. First made shot of the game from Braden Smith is the biggest shot of the game for the moment. Purdue 61, North Carolina State 43. 312 remains in the game on the Central Indiana Honda Dealer scoreboard. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. You work hard. And at First Farmers Bank and Trust, we work hard for you. Since 1885, we've committed to helping families, businesses, and communities thrive financially. From home to the office, to the field, to the arena. We value hard work and perseverance as much as you do. Experience banking built on heart and grit today. Learn more at ffbt.com. First Farmers is a proud sponsor of Purdue Athletics. Member FDIC, Equal Opportunity Lender. I get paid to do this. How cool is this? Wow. It's like <laughs> you get paid to be a coach. And for me, I don't think there's a place out there better for me than Purdue University. Hi, I'm Kate Young, host of This is Purdue, the official podcast of Purdue University. Over the last three years, my conversations with Boilermakers have been serious, informative, and in the case of that exchange with former Purdue basketball coach Gene Cady and current head coach Matt Painter, downright fun. Be sure to follow This is Purdue on your favorite podcast app or on YouTube. If you're a Boilermakers fan, you know that scoring big is everything. Few things feel as good as watching your team pass, shoot, and dribble their way to victory. Off the court, you can experience that same feeling with a Magnum tractor from Case IH. Magnum tractors match the power, speed, and strength of the best Boilermakers by helping you net every challenge that comes your way. Score big with a Magnum tractor this season by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Boilermakers to learn more. Boiler up! Higher yield potential starts with the season-long systemic disease protection of Zyway brand fungicides from FMC. Zyway brand fungicides protect corn crops from key foliar diseases and support physiological benefits that help develop healthier, higher yielding corn for a difference you'll appreciate at harvest. Visit your FMC retailer for an at-plant advantage. Always read and follow all label directions. is three minutes, 12 seconds away from a date on Monday night with either Alabama or UConn for the national title. Still work to be done. Purdue 61, North Carolina State 43, 312 remains as we pause. 10 seconds for station identification. This is Boilermaker Basketball from Learfield.
North Carolina State only has one timeout left in its pocket. The possession arrow does favor North Carolina State. Purdue has a foul to give. North Carolina State does not. They have committed 16 fouls. It will be North Carolina State basketball. Purdue on a 12-1 run over the last, oh, just about four and a half minutes. And that has put some distance between the Boilermakers and the Wolfpack. North Carolina State ball, far sideline as we resume action here. A double-double for Zach Eady today, his 68th career double-double. Now six straight NCAA tournament games dating back to last year, where Zach has gone for 20 and 10, by the way. Zach at 20 and 12 right now. Jaden Taylor, chest pass, perimeter left, DJ Horn. He throws to Middle Brooks, top of the key, gives it right back. No, fake to give the horn, now to Taylor. Taylor from Indianapolis threw it away. He jumped the pass, and he jumped and threw it out of bounds. Tenth turnover of the game for North Carolina State. They're the 12th best team in the country at taking care of the ball, but that one hurts, giving the ball right back to Purdue. And that's the problem that can happen when you have two bigs who can't shoot. DJ Burns on that left block. Middlebrooks tries to dive towards the left block. There's nowhere for him to dive to instead of spacing to the corner, which Jaden Taylor thought he was going to. Purdue does break the press and then a foul. Mason Gillis was fouled. DJ Horn tried to sneak in from behind and slap the ball away from him, but in doing so, he fouled as uh, the official Michael Reed called the foul. And this will be a one-and-one -one for Purdue's Mason Gillis on the season, an 85% foul shooter, the redshirt senior. From Newcastle, who has made two three-point shots in the game. He has six points. Wearing the brand-new sneakers he just had given to him two nights ago. And he makes the first. Black sneakers. The entire Purdue team was given a brand-new pair of sneakers. From D. Book. Devin Booker plays locally for the Phoenix Suns. Maybe you heard of him. Mason made them both. Now Purdue leads 63-43 with 2.50 remaining clock ticking. Jaden Taylor dribbling between the legs near the center circle. Chest pass high right side caught by Horn. NC State needs to go in a hurry. Here's a deep, deep three way outside. Missed terribly, but rebounded by Morsell. Morsell leaves it for Middlebrooks, and Zach Eady says you can have a layup. Middlebrooks is first scoring of the game on a layup. Zach Eady was not going to contest. He did not want to foul. We're down to 2.22 to go. And Purdue's up 63-45. And now Purdue going to just try to dribble out some time here. 17 on the shot clock. Top of the key. Gillis fakes a three. Left side it goes to Lawyer. Now down inside left block Eady. Eady on Burns. Back out to Lawyer. Back into Eady. Eady stripped away. Picked it back up. Two on the shot clock. He'll shoot a wild shot. He'll miss, but it did eat some time off the clock. Rebound to North Carolina State's D.J. Horn. Purdue used the shot clock all the way to the end, and here's a foul at the other end on the dribble handoff. D.J. Horn knocked over Fletcher Lawyer. That's an offensive foul, and it's a turnover against North Carolina State with 151 remaining. And that's what they teach these defenders now. If, if you get hit by the, the ball handler on a dribble handoff situation, just fall down, take that contact. They're going to call an offensive foul practically every time. 142 remaining in the game. Purdue leading by 18. Braden Smith has played all but two seconds of this game. Jumper, right elbow is missed. Rebounded by Middlebrooks of North Carolina State. We're down to 90 seconds to go. Taylor dribbling, attacking, layup good. Again, Purdue let him go. Purdue does not want to risk fouling here with 120 to go in the game. Purdue 63, North Carolina State 47. Clock is ticking. North Carolina State choosing not to foul. 110 to go in a game. 17 on the shot clock. Purdue fans have risen to their feet. They are clapping, hands above the head, cheering on their old golden black. Top of the key, Gillis swings it left side. Lance Jones fakes a three and traveled. He traveled, turning it over with 57 seconds to go in the game. 57.8 to play. Purdue 63, North Carolina State 47. Turnovers for Purdue at 15. But again, a dead ball turnover. So we can stomach that one here on the broadcast row. No question. And a surprising decision, honestly, by NC State not to foul. Producing a one and one. We've got to get the ball back. And 
Yeah, this game is uh, running out of time for the Wolfpack. We're, we're under 50 seconds to go here. Morcell, left side catch for Taylor. Now at 42 seconds, he'll shoot a three. He'll make it. He'll make it with 42 seconds to go, 63 to 50. But again, they're choosing not to foul. North Carolina State has chosen to wave the white flag. 18 on the shot clock, 30 on the game clock. Fletcher Lawyer turns to the crowd, gives them the number one signal with the right index finger. Braden Smith just dribbling it out, 19 seconds, now 18. Braden, left baseline, spins, kicks to Lawyer. He'll shoot a three against the horn, it won't count, won't count. Shot clock ran out, he didn't make the shot anyway. 11 seconds to go in the game, 11.3. And I hope you didn't have plans for Monday night, Purdue fans, because the Purdue Boilermakers will be playing for the national championship. Unbelievable. Down to two, and Purdue's going to be in it. Taylor at deep three. No good. Rebounded lawyer. He will dribble it out as he screams at the top of his lungs. This game has gone final. And the Purdue Boilermakers play on Monday night for the biggest trophy of them all. Sixty-three to fifty is the final score. Purdue improves to thirty-four and four on the season. North Carolina State season ends at twenty-six and fifteen. But those numbers right now insignificant. All you need to know is the Boilermaker boys have a play date Monday night. That also important play date on a coach's calendar in college basketball. The first Monday in April when everyone hopes that they are tipping it up. Purdue wins 63 to 50. Our postgame show begins in a moment. This is Boilermaker basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Hey, Purdue fans, say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion and say goodbye to traditional crop nutrition. We've simplified product selection to create a personalized gallon that's crafted for your specific crop, problem areas, budget, and more. It enhances your farm's profitability 